altar. Peptic. I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. The power of God will come upon you. Captivity ends. Already mighty things are happening. Some of you will go back home and find testimonies waiting for you there. Hallelujah. Please, everybody, stand up. Pastor Williams, Pastor Jakes. Okay, he's still praying for them. Ah, okay. Please, quickly, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, do that quickly. God answers prayers in this place. Pastor, sir. Listen, please. While you are standing, I'd like you to stretch your hands towards the request and begin to say, Lord, you know what I wrote there. You know what I wrote there. Some of you wrote things that are impossible. But you're saying, Lord, you know what I wrote. It's time for you to change my story. The answered prayer will be the proof. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Come on, pray. Lord, change stories. Thousands of requests all over the country, all around the world. My God, change stories. Make sure you are praying. Lord, we lay hands. Lord, change stories. Change stories. My God, let the angel of the Lord pass. Pass. Let the angel of the Lord one more break. Let these testimonies come to order. Let this request my testimony. Request become testimonies. Become testimonies. Come on, say. Take the 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 Mighty things are happening in this place. Mighty things. Requests are becoming testimonies. God is visiting people. 
I can feel the fire on me. I know my own request and I know God is answering it. I can feel the fire on me. Hallelujah. I want to pray right now. Ezekiah went to the temple and lifted up the threat letter to God. And when he did, God came through for them. And he said in 2 Chronicles 20 20, he said, Believe in the Lord and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Lord God of Israel, now arise, O oh Lord, would you come to your resting place, you and the ark of your might, and let us rejoice. As we clothe in your righteousness, we celebrate your love. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now. There are thousands of people Miracles will be happening as I'm praying. Some of you, it's happening to your members at home. Father, miracles will break out right now. At the count of three, I just felt the anointing on me. One, two, prayer requests are being answered. Supernaturally, Sheketele Mokotoba. Job, 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 job. A job is coming. I see it. Marriage is coming. I see it. Admission, admission. Jam, jam request. Wayek. Someone wants to get married before December. I see it. Financial breakthrough. Cancer for your mother. Cancer for your mother. Salvation of your family members. Mighty salvation. Some of them are in the beer parlor. The angel of the Lord is going after them. You have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning this is no pretense oh God I speak right now let every prayer request here and for those streaming online I change it to be testimonies now in the name of Jesus I speak to you I speak to you prayer request and that which is dead will hear the voice of God become testimonies and be delivered for God's people in the name of Jesus hallelujah give God thanks it is done Hallelujah. Now, listen. I always consider this part to be the greatest part of the miracle service. He sent forth his word. I'm about to prophesy right now. 
I feel like a mantle coming on my head. Please, everybody stand. Please, everybody stand. Believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe ye his prophets and you shall prosper. Please lift your hands, everybody. Please, as I speak, I want you to believe it. I want you to receive it. While I prayed, the Lord told me, if it does not happen, it's because you did not speak it. Things will change right now. As I speak, the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking. All I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it infirmities are going infirmities are going 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 cancer go cancer go HIV die HIV die SS change to AA SS change to AA AS change to AA every blood disease go 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 every blood disease go now go now migraine headache go now go now fibroid go now go now peptic ulcer be gone right now be gone right now HIV one and two in any body or family I command you die now every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now deafness in the ears go now any of your family members who is bedridden whether for stroke i'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of jesus i command them to arise from that bed every plague of death over any family he said and when i see the blood i will pass i pray any devil that has said you will not see 2014 and has said your family members will not see i cause that devil in the name of jesus
Hallelujah. Any kind of delay in this place, marital delay, or any kind of delay, at the count of three, yokes and causes of delay begun. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness. Hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. That is speaking against your life or the well being of your family. Right now. That altar, wherever it is, it will catch fire now. Catch fire now. It will catch fire now. Shake it, it, it. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar. Shake it, it. Every altar. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar against any family. Catch fire now. Hallelujah. Listen. Whoever has been marked for this favor that they say things cannot work for you or your family members, I remove that embargo of this favor now. 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 Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shout restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up. We're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure be lifted now. Believe that now. Believe that now. Shake it, take it, take it, Believe that now. Believe that now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled. Hear me. Some of you are Christians. But you have struggled with habits. Masturbation pornography it's not like you are bad you have been trying and trying to stop it's eating your life whether for you or for your loved ones right now i pray that embargo of darkness sin shall not have dominion and i pray whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now 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 now, now, now. Anyone here looking for a job or your family members, they've tried 
they've applied everywhere my bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the south nor the west i pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing hit you now take it take it i command miracle jobs miracle jobs miracle jobs in the name of jesus those of us who are in business or your family members are in business i pray right now in the name that is above all names the bible says it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yield its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever it doeth prospers i pray right now i command every business here grow in the name of jesus grow in the name of jesus expand in the name of jesus increase in the name of jesus hallelujah now hear me whatever trouble is in your family some of you your family is at the brink of divorce some of you your father is not taking care of you i don't care family problems god is visiting them now every family problem because god marked this miracle service for families every problem satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people at the count of three be released one two three families be free families be released i command peace i command prosperity i command love every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of jesus those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us i call you into the life of god's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth And he went to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now Whatever is dead, come forth now. Hallelujah. I release breakthrough into your life. Receive it. All kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds of breakthroughs. You are well favored. I pray for your spiritual life. Some of you, your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it take it receive it in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word to be obedient receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hear me the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness 
Therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness. And the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows. I pray for you. Wherever you go from today, let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you. Let it distinguish you. Out of the crowd, let it distinguish you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Any member of your family that is not born again, I pray. By the permission of the Spirit of God, let the angels of God look for them and bring them into the faith now. No matter how hardened they are, we call them born again now. We establish it. Hallelujah. You will never be the same. Never be the same. Never ever be the same. You will come back with testimonies that will make you afraid. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Inside and outside, please remain standing, everybody. Many of you have come, you have heard the word of the Lord. You have seen the wonders that God has done in our midst. And I want to give you an opportunity right now to make a decision for Jesus Christ. The Bible says, They that be wise shall be like the firmament of the heavens, and they that turn many to righteousness as the brightness of the stars, even forevermore. I want to pray for you right now. You have struggled jesus christ can give you rest both in this life and in the age to come some of you are outside scattered around hearing me from wherever even outside this building it's time to come to jesus some of you have given your heart to the lord but you just found out that you have derailed many cares have taken his place and right now you are tired and you are saying lord let this be the beginning of a new time i want you to leave your seat i'll just count four leave your seat and run out here inside and outside god is speaking to you one appreciate them koinonia they are coming no power can stop them don't wait for anybody you are the first person young and old two please run out leave your seat and come keep clapping what a harvest tonight there are lots of people outside god is speaking to you Three. No matter what you have done, God can give you a new beginning. No matter what you have done, stop struggling. There are still people sitting. Keep coming, keep coming. Koinonia, keep appreciating them. Hallelujah. Now, those remaining, join us quickly. Make sure you join us quickly. Join us quickly. Don't let any devil stop you. Join us quickly. Hallelujah. The Bible says, For God so loved you, that he gave his one and only begotten son, that if you will believe in him, you will not perish, but you will have an everlasting life. I salute you for this great decision. Everyone who is truly born again made this decision. Now I want you to lift both hands to the heavens and make this genuine decision. Don't be emotional about it. This is not a Bible recitation. This is a genuine decision that will begin your Christian experience. Never forget this day for the rest of your life. I'd like you to shout it very loud. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner unable to help myself but this night i have heard your voice and i come to you save me help me i repent of my sins i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that from today i'm a new creation in christ i'm born again the Spirit of God is at work in me. My sins are forgiven. I am a brand new man. Satan, I denounce you 
and all your works from today i am a child of god forward ever backward never in the name of jesus christ now let me pray for you father preserve these ones in the name of jesus christ preserve them by the power of your holy spirit let their salvation be genuine preserve them in the mighty name of jesus christ i break the power of sin over your life i break you free from every weight and the sin that doth easily beset you in the name of jesus you are free i declare you saved by the word of god begin a new christian experience in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now congratulations i salute you we welcome you to the biggest family the biggest biggest family it's called the kingdom of heaven hallelujah now i'd like you to follow that lady who is lifting her hands the ushers will direct you will have your informations and you'll be back hallelujah please go this way just follow the ushers appreciate them hallelujah hallelujah now very quickly if this is your first time inside and outside if this is your first time worshiping with us please leave your seat and come out here quickly i want to pray and prophesy over your life please no matter how far you are inside or outside leave your seat and come you must go with this final prophecy all first timers have a prophetic word that we release upon you thank you for coming those who invited them may good things keep locating your life forever in the name of jesus keep clapping koinonia they are coming hallelujah thank you so much for coming mommy thank you my mommy is here hallelujah praise the lord now please join us quickly if you are coming from outside join us quickly this is the koinonia you've heard about hallelujah god is doing mighty things in our midst we're here every friday this was a special venue our regular venue is cgc hallelujah praise the lord your life will never be the same never never be the same god will do more than you are bargained for in the name of jesus we want to pray and prophesy upon your life and i pray that the hand of god will come mightily upon you saints of god stretch your hands as we prophesy i speak over your life you are blessed you are blessed we bless you with hunger for the things of the kingdom we bless you with grace we bless you we bless you let everything work for you in the name of the lord jesus christ return with testimonies you will not need to tell men you came for koinonia an anointing will go with you what used to be a challenge for you you will go back and find out that it's a mountain that has been crushed already the lord will go before you and grant you rest in the name of jesus thank you so much for coming we love you from the depths of our hearts keep growing in the word of god hallelujah i'd like you to follow the ushers just this way they will direct you they will have your details and welcome you we believe you have been blessed by this message for additional information you can visit us on facebook on www.facebook.com slash koinonia Parenting Network International or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash koinonia underscore ELI You can also download our messages on www.foreshared.com Parenting Network International Duplicating the fullness of God's life on earth Destiny, this night it must bow. Shut up, a coach.
it shall come to pass in that day there is a rope tied around this lady's neck there is a rope let that rope be set on fire now 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 hallelujah we have to hurry up there's a lot for us to do hallelujah lay your hands on her head out of her now that foul devil of darkness go go on your mark said go out i see you in the spirit come out right now come out right now your hands on her ears i'm seeing a snake this is what i'm seeing a snake out out of her that devil of darkness now 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 by the fire of the holy ghost come out come out right now out 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 come out come out right now out of her by the fire of the holy ghost come out let her go out of her now an army rising up fire upon you now fire upon you go 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 out showing me a very big fish like a whale this is what I'm seeing to break every chain break every chain now at the count of three you are leaving this lady never to return you know my voice one two three go go right now out of her out of her now lay your hands on her back out now now you're going by the fire of the holy ghost madam Please come. Can I talk to you? Yes. Where is your husband? You don't die. Do you, do you know why I asked you? The spirit of death is over your family. We must rebuke this. Who brought this woman? She's your mother. Eh? She's your mom. Let's start with you. Because you are not fine as you look wait now. Just let me know. you have to forget about who you brought. Mama, things are tied down. Things are not working for you. You do business. What do you do? What does she? Civil servant. Civil servant. What am I seeing with business? I'm a secretary assistant. Uh -uh. I'm seeing. I'm not seeing. I'm seeing something that has to do with business. I'm just. My brother does business. Okay, it's your brother that does business. Because I'm seeing everything tied down. We are going to break that yoke now. Huh? You, if we don't pray for you, you will have marriage problems. Out! Out! Now! Now! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! 
Come out of her. Come out of her right now. Out. 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 By the fire of the Holy Ghost. She's going to cut out something now. Take her outside. You believe that? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands, my dear. Thank you, Jesus. Let the yoke of bondage leave this family right now. I break that yoke. It's of darkness. Mm. Zeta Pakarosa Prendede La Kata. There is no standing. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Set you free. Mama, hold my hand. Weep not. Let him go now. Your reign over his life is over. And over his, the people in his family. You have stayed too long. Now. Go. Go. Let him go right now. You are living. In the mighty name of Jesus. This boy has suffered. This boy you are seeing. They have already finished this boy and his entire family. Look at him crying. But the Lord brings him hope to that. Hold my hands, Mama. Let me pray for you. Jesus, visit her. I take away this curse. This curse. Let the curse be broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Come. Please come. Look at me, look at me. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? Yes, because I'm seeing this is a chain on her neck. This is what I'm seeing. Eh? She has a mental disorder. Oh, she's mad. Since when? More than what? It will end this night in the name of Jesus. Hold my hands. Now, devil, I challenge you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let this girl go now. 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 Mental spirit out of her right now. The Lord is revealing something to me. It goes right now. Take her back to her seat and keep checking her. I'm seeing a woman. They diagnose you of fibroid. Please, let's hurry up. You came here. It's part of your prayer, your list. Not a young lady, a woman. We need to end it right now. We need to end it right now. A dark woman, you are putting her tie. Her tie. Her tie. Her tie. Her tie. Come. It would disappear now in this place right now. You believe that? Please put one hand on your stomach and hold. My brother, it's time to leave. Go right now. Leave this body right now and let her return with testimonies. Out of her now.
You are a spirit of darkness. Your time has come. You are going out of this body right now. In the name of Jesus, I command the fiber to give way. In the name of Jesus, you are leaving her now. You are leaving her now. Your reign is over. Shake it, 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 it. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Lay your hands on her. Out now. You are going. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see you in the spirit. There is no hiding place. The light of God exposes you and you are living. Now in the name of Jesus. Just keep your hands on her. this be so oppressed please lay your hands on him let me pray for him now let him go now the fire of the holy ghost is against you there's no hiding there's no hiding go 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 see Many of you, let me explain to you what is happening. It is not about the people. Some of them is the families that they represent. This is the whole family being set free. It's not even about the person. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing a fracture. I'm seeing a fracture. Fracture. Somebody with a, is a fracture. Something about legs. What happened to you? I had an accident. You had an accident. How long? July, it's July. And from then you've not been able to walk. They operated you. Yes. But you didn't heal. He didn't heal. This is demonic. Huh? It's the accident that would have killed you. This thing would have healed. They told you after a while, everything will be it's supposed to be healed now. What's that? Your femur. Your femur. Okay. This one down. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Did they did they try to work on it for you? And it has you cannot walk without this thing completely. Do you believe the Lord Jesus will heal you with all your heart? This is why you came, right? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Lift it up. Lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. I bring you the life of the kingdom that I represent. Bones be joined to bones. Right now. Your recovery starts now. You're feeling the power of the Holy Ghost. Go through your body. Hold him. The Lord is doing a mighty work. See, he's feeling the fire of God. You're feeling the fire of God. Your recovery starts from today. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Over the next few weeks weeks literally it will be but as a sign you'll be able to walk right now without this just leave him please clear this pathway brother look at me in the name of the lord jesus christ look at me lift your leg start lifting your leg go ahead Okay, try moving it. Any relief? Are you feeling? Yes, relief. Really. Walk by yourself. Walk by yourself. Come. Look at this. Look at this. Turn around. Turn around and come. That devil is a liar. Your miracle has started. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? 
look at this. Come on, give Jesus a big shout of praise. Look at, look at, look at, look at. See the miracle that is happening to his leg. Look at this, look at this, look at this. He could not do this. Look at, look at. He's lifting the legs. Are you seeing? Watch a miracle happen. Watch a miracle happen. Jesus, we give you praise. Jesus, we give you praise. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let's walk again. One more time. Let's walk as fast as you can. Could you do this before? The front door is joining back. Joining back. Turn around. As it has begun, it will be perfected. Give Jesus a big shout of praise. Move back to your seat. mighty miracle has happened here someone your hand is bent is bent check it now check it you could not bend it please god just showed me it will surprise you run out right now it's a big miracle somebody's hand you could not bend it very well the lord is straightening it right now right now right now right now right now right now the lord is straightening it right now look at this what couldn't you do you could not lift it before. You could not lift it. He couldn't lift it because he was born deformed. Look at what God is doing. Now put it down and lift it up. Put it down and lift it up. Look, see, see the power of the Holy Spirit. Look at the power of the Holy You know this is dead. Look at what is happening to him. Look at this. Can you see his hands shaking? Look at this. Look at what God is doing. Look at what the Holy Ghost is doing. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Come. Look at me. Now in the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift it up and bring it down. Look at this. Bring it down. Lift it up again. Look at this. Give Jesus a big, big, big clap of praise. God bless you. What's wrong with her? Please, if I don't announce the case, don't bring them. What's who is who brought her? Fracture. Where? Since how long? And you could not walk. You can't walk now. You can't walk. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Just put just put it down. Put it down. We are going to pray that over the next few weeks it will begin to bend back into shape. You believe that? What could you not do before with it? What can she not do? Father, within the shortest possible time, let this leg bend back to order. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. It's time to wave bye bye to it. Lift up your hands. Peptic ulcer. We are going to start ministering now. Instant miracles will begin to happen. Pastor Jax is here. We'll verify them and have some. Ah. Daddy. Can I talk to you, sir? I'm seeing stroke. This is what the Lord is showing me. The devil wants to bring stroke from here. I'm seeing it completely paralyzed. This is what the Lord is showing me that the devil wants to bring. You believe me? Can I pray for you? Please hold my hands. That devil of stroke. Let him go right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That stroke will not come. We command that you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come. God is visiting your family. No 
not just you, your family. Hold my hands, both of them. Look at me. Can you shout? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Go ahead. <laughs> Hallelujah. Peptic also, lift your hands. Please, listen. We are going to start praying right now. Instant miracles will start happening. Hallelujah. Where are your family members? Please come. Mama, where is your first son? Don't point the picture. I'm seeing. Where is he? What is he doing? Nothing is moving in this family. We must break the hands of that. Huh? Who has a child in your family? My third boy. He fell a, a child. I'm seeing a child. Uh, third boy, my immediate elder sister. We are going to pray. Because, okay, this is the child. You see, give God praise. See the baby. This is the baby. <laughs> Madam. Having, my second born is having mental. He's having a mental. Outside where? The person has run away. Eh? Just leave them. She's outside. Where is outside? You don't know where she is. I call her back to this auditorium right now. Wherever she is, I declare right now, whatever spirit has taken her out of this place, she returns now in the name of Jesus. Wherever she is, she returns now back to this place. I'm going to pray for you, ma. Things will change in a dramatic way in your family. You believe that? Visit mama. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you a visitation from God. Together with all the members of your family, I lay my hands. Every terminal disease in your family goes right now. Who is this? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. The power of God will come upon you. Captivity ends. Now! Out! Let this lady go free now. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now in the name of Jesus. I curse that devil of infirmity. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be free. Be free right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Lift your hands, please. Now I'm going to pray for you. Pastor Jexa. Um, where, where do we do it now? Okay, maybe we'll create. Once we begin to minister, as the Lord touches you, check yourself. We want to take some testimonies. Okay, this side. This side. Pastor Jax will be there. Pastor Williams too is there. Please, we we'll only announce verified miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now lift your hands. Ulcer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at me. The fire of God is coming upon you, Dora. Right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take it now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, take Rekete kata balarabosh, mambreto so preketa, shekete prekete balaraba. Hallelujah! Please, any miracle right now, Pastor Williams and Pastor Jakes are there to verify it. I command ulcer. Some of you will feel like fire just shoot from your chest. That's the end of it. Ulcer, be healed now. This lady has ulcer. God is healing her. This lady has ulcer. Follow me, instrumentalist. Hallelujah. At the count of three, also be healed. One, two.
two, three. Be healed right now. 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 Every trace of ulcer. Now check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. You have a miracle. Just move straight. We'll take some testimonies now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me someone. You're from a polygamous home. Please listen. A polygamous home. Things have been going really bad in your home. In fact, two of your mothers, as in there is a serious fight going on. It's a polygamous home. God wants there is a lot of witchcraft activities going. Who is that person? Come. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I command you to look at me now. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. You don't know what I'm seeing in the spirit. At the count of three, that plague of hatred is going. All of you hold your hands together. As soon as I count three, button her shirt, a female usher. As soon as I count three, the fire of God will come upon some of you. This family thing will end right now. Are you hearing me? Lift your hands, all of you. I tell you to be a mighty fire. Just at the count of three. One, two, three. Shake it, 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 it. Rekete koto baka, so rekete te 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 te. Ekrete kata balada bash, rakata ba 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 ba. Out of her, come out, out right now. Shake it, 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 it. Shake it, 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 it. Rekete te kata, take it, take it. The name of the Lord Jesus. The name of the Lord Jesus. Shake up, rose, go prege de bash. Shake it, take it, take it, take it, I set you free right now from altars of darkness. Be free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. They call a woman Mama Embu. Mama Embu. I'm hearing the Holy Spirit ministering to me. Is somebody's relative? Mama Embu. Who is Mama Embu? You? Mama Embu, come. Do you? Where are the Embu? Your name is Mama Embu. How can God give a name in a place, Mama Embu? These are the Embu. Give Jesus praise. Look at. somebody can you collect the children these children are sick I see a plague of darkness upon their lives he's crying sorry oh boy are you seeing all these swellings on this child this child what you think is a skin infection but this is a demonic thing huh we must deal with it father you reveal this Do you know this is a worm? Do you know this is a worm? This, these are worms around the body of the child. That's what they will tell you is this and that and that. But we are going to pray for the child now. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bring life and perfection to this baby. Life in the name of Jesus Christ. Life. Boy, we bring life to you in the name of Jesus. Madam, hold my hands. Look at me. The struggle is over in the name of Jesus Christ. The struggle is over right now. Let it rain. Let it rain. Ah, 
Hold my hands. Let her go. 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 Out. Leave the family. One more plague and Pharaoh will let you go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go. You will be a woman of prayer from today. Praying in tongues for hours. Mama, I will pray for you. God will turn around any captivity. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Leave her. Right now. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look, many things are happening here. Don't wait on. Okay, there are a few testimonies. Hallelujah. This lady came in here with Pepsi Oxa. Yes, when I came in today, whenever I'm feeling stomach ache, it's like there are pins between my intestines. But today, when he mentioned Pepsi Oxa, I was healed. Because when I came in, I was actually holding my tummy together like this. Anyone has to close to me outside, close to the gate, wouldn't have noticed it if you check clearly. But now... So the pains are gone. Yes. Completely gone. If you press it, no pains. Please come. Please come. And sure, press. Press her stomach very well. Any pain? No. Please put your hands together for the Lord. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Come on, just give Jesus a big, big clap of praise. Okay. Wow. I hear that there's a hot testimony coming here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to pray. Okay. See, when you see me flow the way I do, I move only as God directs. Are you following me now? If you move by yourself, you will do something and you won't get any result. Now, the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is going to address the issues of marriage right now. Please stand up. Please rise up. There is an amazing miracle here. Give God praise. Pastor Jax is coming. Somebody, a mighty, mighty deliverance here. I tell you, the devil is in trouble over your destiny this night. Please shout a big hallelujah. My God. Wow, a lot of you will not understand what happened to this lady. She said one of the nights she had a dream. A man was pressing her and forcing her to eat. Are you following? Was pressing her, forcing her to eat. And since when apostle began to minister and began to speak over her life and command deliverance, she began to cough out things like rope. Are you following? She was feeling rope all over her voice. And right now, what's happening to you? I'm relieved. I'm feeling relieved. <laughs> Are you just looking like that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. I don't care what it is. It will go. I don't care what it is. Hear me. It will go this night. Hallelujah. The Bible says, For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. Not for a man of God to be a superstar. There's no time for that. He said to destroy the works. To destroy the works. Hallelujah. Marriage is a blessing. Can you hear me inside and outside? What did I say? Marriage is a blessing. The Bible says, Therefore, for this cause, shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and they too shall become one flesh. But the devil has orchestrated it such that there are yokes of marital delays over families. But right now, I said right now, he said one more plague and Pharaoh will let you go. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to count three. 
every spirit that is responsible some of you have people come in the night to molest you in your sleep to sleep with you at the count of three i like you to shout i am free there will be mighty marital deliverances according to the word of the lord it will hit many of you especially ladies are you ready now one two three Shaka ta 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 Shaka ta 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 Be free Be free Be free Marital delay I curse you That spirit Responsible For marital delay I open up your marital destiny now In the name of Jesus I open up your marital destiny by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I release you. Shake it, 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 it. Fire is burning in this place. Shake it, make it to so to it, make it break it. Yokes of marital delay. Yokes of marital delay is over. Over. Hallelujah. Hear me. Every one person who is supposed to be married happily with dignity and your life partner has not come. All men keep coming. Some of you is married men. Some of you, you just get all kinds of irresponsible men. They will just come as if they are thieves into your life to steal and kill and destroy. There are some of us, you are brothers, you are responsible people. Right now, I pray, every close marital door, standing for your family, standing for your children, every close marital door, right now, be open in the name of Jesus. 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 Fire, fire is falling. Fire is forcing doors to open up. Fire is forcing doors. Shake, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing two women. Your major prayer point was fruit of the womb. Please come out here. Fruit of the womb. Celebrate them as they come. The Lord who located you. The Lord who located you. I want you to come rejoicing. Nine months you will come back with your child. Hallelujah. Come Selina. There was a story. Let me share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. Praise God. A woman was barren for how many years? Eight years. Eight years. She was barren for eight years. She didn't even come. It was a prayer request. Are you following me now? We prayed on it and God gave her how many children? Triplets. God gave her triplets. One, two, three. For the eight years, God gave her triplets. They are all alive. They are healthy. They brought the cups and the tray of the dedication for me. I just called her as a witness because she's a witness. Let me tell you something. The Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. I don't care what spell. I don't care what the hospital is saying. Even if they say there is no womb, that's nonsense. The Bible says who shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not declared it. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. Mommy, you will see the hand of God. 
whatever has taken the place of that baby in your womb it will give way you will return back with testimonies there's fire burning my hands and the lord instructs me to lay my hands on you please lay your hands on your stomach as i lay my hands on you the fire of god will burn off that nonsense hallelujah and as i pray for them a point of contact to many of you who know some people they have tried they have prayed nothing is working we have come to call that devil a liar tonight are you hearing me now in the name of jesus womb be open right now womb be open now mommy return with your child return with your miracle baby baby girl baby girl look at me madam you are returning with a baby girl the name of jesus christ what the doctor said god is changing it within now and the next two weeks you will pass out all kinds of substances you will take in and you will give birth let her go out now out this is i'm seeing a spirit holding her womb release her now now by the fire of the holy ghost madam let your womb be open return with your miracle children who again if you're standing for somebody miracle babies in the name of the lord jesus christ miracle babies return with your testimonies hallelujah madam go and return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a family that has been trying to build a house it has reached lintel level but nothing more again this has been for years who is that the lord is showing me something please come look at me look at me wait uh -uh. i will know if you are the one all of you look at me the power of god will come upon one person that is the person but i'm going to pray for you for coming out no problem don't worry even if you are seated i just want to minister directly all of you look at me lord you gave me a sign right now whoever that person is let the fire of god come in a mighty way now i use the remaining part of you as a point of contact every demonic thing keeping that building as i lay my hands on you i tell you finance will come from everywhere building projects building projects god is visiting in the name of jesus supernatural testimonies some of you before the end of the year before the end of the year the hand of the lord will bring resources come madam you came out for building but what god is going to do is more than building you are a very good woman hold on where is your child they are at home three things the lord is going to do before now and the end of the year wait madam let me tell you first number one there will be radical financial shift in your family i've not even touched financial issues number two number two this is what is going to happen what do you do what do you do yo i'm a teacher you are a teacher i see a lot of favor i see you this woman is a very good woman very good she say amen a very good woman you can know you are good some of you are bad she knows she's good hallelujah praise the lord you have a daughter you have a daughter what's her name joy joy 
The Lord says, I should tell you, it's time for her to leave her name in the family. I don't know her name. That's why God said, I should, I should ask you of her name. Joy, madam, you will come back and you will testify. It's a mighty visitation. Lord, confirm your word with signs. Did I pray for you? You're a businessman. You do not even know, but you're a major businessman. Come. You have not started anything, you don't know anything. Go and read. Let me tell you, my brother, what do you do? Civil servant. You are a civil servant. You are going to do business in a mighty way. And God is going to prosper you in a very mighty way. Are you following me? We have not touched the area of finance. We'll come. Because there are many families here. This is an issue. We'll address that. But for now, let me just pray for you for what you came for. Let mama go free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Did I pray for you? Deliverance comes now. Deliverance comes now. You will let her go. Your body is afflicted. Deliverance comes now. Shake it up, cut up, aladaba. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, deliverance comes now. Come. Look at me. Button the other shirt. You need to be serious with God. Huh? You are young, but you are not serious with God. But God loves you. Huh? When it's time for altar call, just run and come and stand. Okay? God loves you and he wants to use you. Wow. Wow. Sister, that fair lady, please run and come quickly. The yoke of delay is ending in your family. See, look at me. You don't know why I'm saying you should run. Don't do woman woman. I'm saying run. These are instructions. You understand? Please go back and run out. Don't be embarrassed. God spoke to me. I'm not doing foolish things. Come. Don't worry, I'll hold you so that you don't need Hold my hands. Hold my hands with both of your hands. I saw a measuring tape. And the Lord says, it is the time for favor. Are you following me? Lord, confirm your word right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your family will come with rejoicing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please bring out your prayer request. Start passing it out while we address. Now, if you are sick in your body, please hear me. Any kind of sickness, it's time for you to come out right now. Come out and line up here for healing. Any kind of sickness, please come and line up here for healing. While they do that, ushers, everybody pass your prayer request to the last person by the side outside please please don't miss it god answers prayers here look at how many people are coming for sickness you see how the devil is a is a is a is a liar welfare can i get a cup of water please so i can drink You will be healed. I give you an assurance. One last plague and Pharaoh will let you go this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? No matter how much the space is. Listen. Something's changing. Something. See his glory. Celebrate for one minute.
please listen to me listen listen refuse to walk back to your seat refuse to walk back to your seat with that sickness as i look at you the lord is revealing people's cases i see ladies infections i see two more lump in the breast god is touching this lady right now that is putting her hand on her face take it now hallelujah i'm seeing hiv i see a number of hiv here hepatitis there are men here that have all some challenges low sperm counts infertility whatever kind of nonsense some of you have a woman here i'm seeing palpitations sometimes you gasp for breath who is that person you madam god is visiting you you are not the only person please make sure you write a request this is not a ritual hezekiah took the prayer request and took it to the temple and dropped it before god hallelujah now all you need please except if the the ministers ask you what the situation is otherwise just a touch i tell you the truth just a touch the worship team sang it just a touch for some of you to be like magic one moment is there another moment is gone i'm seeing somebody that coughs and you cough out sputum sometimes like blood your throat is dry sometimes you cough out blood ss i'm seeing a number of ss people who need genotype change i'm sure you've been hearing the testimonies you don't have to remain where you are hallelujah jesus you are the great healer as we pray for you go back to your seat so that those who are outside can come it's called a miracle service lord jesus you revealed mighty miracles to me in the visions that you showed let there be a mighty confirmation in the name of jesus pastor jakes pastor williams now we are going to pray please let's spread ourselves someone take here someone take there jakes you can start here pastor williams here as we lay hands on you check do what you couldn't do return back if you need test sorry we don't have a medical team yet to do instant tests for people but then i want you to know you will return rejoicing you will return rejoicing worship team are you ready you give us that song something's changing where sam god is visiting men the name of jesus heal take it heal take it heal take it as i pray for you heal take it now Out of the Holy Ghost, kill whatever it is, kill now. Lumps in the breast, go, go, go. Lumps, go. Shakate kalabata kata, rekete kata. Go back and check yourself. Miracles are happening. Heal, Mama, heal in the name of Jesus. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Heal, heal. Infections are getting healed. It doesn't matter who touches you. Ushers direct them, please. Ushers direct them. Heal. As I lay hands on you, return testimonies. Check it, check it, check it. Be healed right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go! Be healed right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. Take it now. Now. Miracles are happening. 
if if the miracle is for a child before they get there leave the child so that they don't jump the child please hallelujah continue praise heal right now take it heal be healed right now be healed right now go back and check yourself take it now heal heal by the power of the Holy Ghost They pray for you. Go back to your seats. Shaba ba 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 ba. Shake it, break it in the bush. I bring you healing now, now, now. Please move forward, move forward, move forward. Don't worry. We'll lay hands on everybody, everybody. Mommy, the Lord visits you right now. Shake it, shaba la da ba kata. They break it, shake it, la ba. Leave her right now. Thou foul devil. Shakataba katata by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I bring you healing now. Daddy be healed now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every sign of high blood pressure. Go. Something's moving. Something's changing. Seas Be healed now. Just a touch, just a touch. on you. It doesn't matter. Out. 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 Now. Come out of her. Out of her. Shake it. Take her. Come out. Out of her right now. Fire upon you. Every part of your body. Fire right now. Fire. Come out of her. Come out of her. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Pastor Jesse, be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Healed right now. Be healed right now. Be 
I spoke and I said the lady who ran out with the mental disorder, this is how she has returned. The Bible says he's confirmed the words of his messengers. Because the Lord brought her here. Before you shout that Nago day again, we're going to cast that devil of darkness. Look at me. This night, one last plague and Pharaoh will let you go. Hold my hands. Hold my hands with the other hand. Look at me. Say, I am not mad. Say it, I am not mad. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you heard her. We overcome them by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. Right now, that devil of madness. more madness sanity restored in the name of Jesus Christ go ahead
one last plague upon Pharaoh and upon the nation of Egypt. After that he shall let you go. We are going to pray for the request now and then I will speak over your life. Already mighty things are happening. Some of you will go back home and find testimonies waiting for you there. Hallelujah. Please everybody stand up. Pastor Williams, Pastor Jakes. Okay, he's still praying for them. Please quickly, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, do that quickly. God answers prayers in this place. Pastor, sir. Listen, please. While you are standing, I'd like you to stretch your hands towards the request and begin to say, Lord, you know what I wrote there. You know what I wrote there. Some of you wrote things that are impossible. But you are saying, Lord, you know what I wrote. It's time for you to change my story. The answered prayer will be the proof. Do the impossible, do the impossible. Come on, pray. Lord, change stories. Thousands of requests all over the country, all around the world. 
my God, change stories. Make sure you are praying. Lord, we lay hands. Lord, change stories. Change stories. My God, let the angel of the Lord pass. Pass. Let the angel of the Lord one more break. Let these testimonies come through, O God. Let this request for testimony. Request become testimonies. Become testimonies. Come on, say. Take, 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 Mighty things are happening in this place. Mighty things. Requests are becoming testimonies. God is visiting people. I can feel the fire on me. I know my own request and I know God is answering it. I can feel the fire on me. Hallelujah. I want to pray right now. Ezekiah went to the temple and lifted up the threat letter to God. And when he did, God came through for them. And he said in 2 Chronicles 20, 20, he said, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Lord God of Israel Now arise Oh Lord Would you come To your resting place you And the ark Of your might And let us rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness, we celebrate your love. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now. There are thousands of people Miracles will be happening as I'm praying. 
Some of you is happening to your members at home. Father, miracles will break out right now. At the count of three, I just felt the anointing on me. One, two. Prayer requests are being answered supernaturally. Job, 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 job. A job is coming. I see it. Marriage is coming. I see it. Admission, admission. Jam, jam request. Wayek. Someone wants to get married before December. I see it. Financial breakthrough. Cancer for your mother. Cancer for your mother. Salvation of your family members. Mighty salvation. Some of them are in the beer parlor. The angel of the Lord is going after them. Father, you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning. This is no pretense, oh God. I speak right now. Let every prayer request here and for those streaming online, I change it to be testimonies now in the name of Jesus. I speak to you. I speak to you. Prayer request. And that which is dead will hear the voice of God. Become testimonies and be delivered for God's people in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Give God thanks, it is done. Hallelujah. Now, listen. I always consider this part to be the greatest part of the miracle service. He sent forth his word. I'm about to prophesy right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like a mantle coming on my head. Please, everybody stand. Please, everybody stand. Believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe ye his prophets. And you shall prosper. Please lift your hands, everybody. Please, as I speak, I want you to believe it. I want you to receive it. While I pray, the Lord told me. If it does not happen, it's because you did not speak it. Things will change right now. As I speak, the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking. All I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever 
Receive it. Infirmities are going. Infirmities are going. 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 Cancer go. Cancer go. HIV die. HIV die. SS change to AA. SS change to AA. AS change to AA. Every blood disease go go go. Every blood disease go now. Go now. Migraine headache go now. Go now. Fibroid go now. Go now. Peptic ulcer, be gone right now. Be gone right now. HIV 1 and 2 in any body or family. I command you, die now. Every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the holy ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now deafness in the ears go now any of your family members who is bedridden whether for stroke i'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of jesus i command them to arise from that bed every plague of death over any family he said and when i see the blood i will pass I pray any devil that has said you will not see 2014 and has said your family members will not see I curse that devil in the name of Jesus hallelujah any kind of delay in this place marital delay or any kind of delay at the count of three yokes and causes of delay be gone one two three go 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness. Hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. That is speaking against your life or the well-being of your family. Right now. That altar, wherever it is, it will catch fire now. Catch fire now. It will catch fire now. Shake it, it, it. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar. Shake it, it. Every altar. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar against any family. Catch fire now. hallelujah listen whoever has been marked for disfavor that they say things cannot work for you or your family members i remove that embargo of disfavor now 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 
Não! Não! Aleluia! Hear me! Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shout restore at the count of three. We are hurrying up, we are out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure be lifted now. Believe that now. Believe that now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled. Hear me. Some of you are Christians. But you have struggled with habits. Masturbation. Pornography. It's not like you are bad. You have been trying and trying to stop. Is eating your life, whether for you or for your loved ones, right now. I pray that embargo of darkness, sin shall not have dominion. And I pray, whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now, 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 now. now. anyone here looking for a job or your family members they've tried they've applied everywhere my bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the south nor the west i pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing hit you now Take it! Take it! I command miracle jobs! Miracle jobs! Miracle jobs! In the name of Jesus! Those of us who are in business, or your family members are in business, I pray right now, in the name that is above all names, the Bible says it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yield its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever it doeth prospers I pray right now I command every business here grow in the name of Jesus grow in the name of Jesus expand in the name of Jesus increase in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Now hear me. Whatever trouble is in your family, some of you, your family is at the brink of divorce. Some of you, your father is not taking care of you. I don't care. Family problems, God is visiting them now. Every family problem. Because God marked this miracle service for families. Every problem. Satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people. Kototopa. At the count of three, be released. One, two, three.
Families be free. Families be released. I command peace. I command prosperity. I command love. Every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now, wherever they are destiny help us I call you into the life of God's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth and he went to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now whatever is dead come forth now I release breakthrough into your life receive it all kinds of breakthroughs all kinds of breakthroughs you are well favored I pray for your spiritual life some of you your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire what fire take it take it receive it in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word grace to be obedient receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah hear me the bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness and the bible says that oil puts you above your fellows i pray for you wherever you go from today let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of Jesus any member of your family that is not born again I pray by the permission of the Spirit of God let the angels of God look for them and bring them into the faith now no matter how hardened they are we call them born again now we establish it hallelujah you will never be the same never be the same never ever be the same you will come back with testimonies that will make you afraid hallelujah now listen to me inside and outside please remain standing everybody many of you have come you have heard the word of the Lord you have seen the wonders that God has done in our midst and I want to give you an opportunity right now to make a decision for Jesus Christ the Bible says they that be wise shall be like the firmament of the heavens and they that turn many to righteousness as the brightness of the stars even forevermore I want to pray for you right now you have struggled Jesus Christ can give you rest both in this life and in the age to come some of you are outside scattered around hearing me from wherever even outside this building it's time to come to Jesus some of you have given your heart to the Lord but 
you just found out that you have derailed many cares have taken its place and right now you are tired and you are saying lord let this be the beginning of a new time i want you to leave your seat i'll just count four leave your seat and run out here inside and outside god is speaking to you one appreciate them going on here they are coming no power can stop them don't wait for anybody you are the first person young and old two please run out leave your seat and come keep clapping what they have us tonight there are lots of people outside god is speaking to you three no matter what you have done god can give you a new beginning no matter what you have done stop struggling there are still people sitting keep coming keep coming koinonia keep appreciating them hallelujah now those remaining join us quickly make sure you join us quickly join us quickly don't let any devil stop you join us quickly hallelujah the bible says for god so loved you that he gave his one and only begotten son that if you will believe in him you will not perish but you will have him everlasting life i salute you for this great decision everyone who is truly born again made this decision now i want you to lift both hands to the heavens and make this genuine decision don't be emotional about it this is not a bible recitation this is a genuine decision that will begin your christian experience never forget this day for the rest of your life i like you to shout it very loud say after me lord jesus I'm a sinner, unable to help myself. But this night, I have heard your voice, and I come to you. Save me, help me. I repent of my sins. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare that from today, I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm born again the Spirit of God is at work in me my sins are forgiven I am a brand new man Satan I denounce you and all your works from today I am a child of God forward ever backward never in the name of Jesus Christ now let me pray for you father preserve these ones in the name of Jesus Christ preserve them by the power of your Holy Spirit let their salvation be genuine preserve them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I break the power of sin over your life I break you free from every weight and the sin that doth easily beset you in the name of Jesus you are free I declare you saved by the Word of God begin a new Christian experience in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now congratulations I salute you we welcome you to the biggest family the biggest biggest family it's called the kingdom of heaven hallelujah now I'd like you to follow that lady who is lifting her hands the ushers will direct you who we'll have your informations and you'll be back hallelujah please go this way just follow the ushers appreciate them hallelujah hallelujah now very quickly if this is your first time inside and outside if this is your first time worshiping with us please leave your seat and come out here quickly I want to pray and prophesy over your life please no matter how far you are inside or outside leave your seat and come you must go with this final prophecy all first timers have a prophetic word that we release upon you thank you for coming those who invited them may good things keep locating your life forever in the name of jesus keep clapping koinonia they are coming hallelujah thank you so much for coming mommy thank you my mommy is here 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please join us quickly. If you are coming from outside, join us quickly. This is the koinonia you've heard about. Hallelujah. God is doing mighty things in our midst. We are here every Friday. This was a special venue. Our regular venue is CGC. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your life will never be the same. Never, never be the same. God will do more than you have bargained for. In the name of Jesus. We want to pray and prophesy upon your life. And I pray that the hand of God will come mightily upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we prophesy. I speak over your life. You are blessed. You are blessed. We bless you with hunger for the things of the kingdom. We bless you with grace. We bless you. We bless you. Let everything work for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Return with testimonies. You will not need to tell men you came for koinonia. An anointing will go with you. What used to be a challenge for you, you will go back and find out that it's a mountain that has been crushed already. The Lord will go before you and grant you rest. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you from the depths of our hearts. Keep growing in the word of God. Hallelujah. I'd like you to follow the ushers. Just this way they will direct you. They will have your details and welcome you. We believe you have been blessed by this message. For additional information, you can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com slash koinonia Eternity Network International or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash koinonia underscore ENI You can also download our messages on www.foreshared.com Eternity Network International Duplicating the fullness of God's life on earth Destiny, this night it must bow. Shut up, Oh. It shall come to pass in that day. There is a rope tied around this lady's neck. There is a rope. Let that rope be set on fire now. 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 Hallelujah. We have to hurry up. There's a lot for us to do. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on her head. Out of her now. That foul devil of darkness. Go, go. On your mark said, go. Out. I see you in the spirit. Come out right now. Come out right now. Lay your hands on her ears. I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing, a snake. Out! Out of her, that devil of darkness. Now! Now! Now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out! Come out right now! Out! 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 Come out! Come out right now! Out of her! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Come out! Let her go! Out of her now! An army rising up. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you. Go, 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 go. Out. Out of her 
out now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out now. There's no hiding. Out, out, out now. Out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me a very big fish like a whale. This is what I'm seeing. To break every chain. Break every chain. Now at the count of three, you are leaving this lady. Never to return. You know my voice. One. Two. Three. Go. Go right now. Out of her. Out of her now. Lay your hands on her back. Out now. Now you're going by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Madam. Please come. Can I talk to you? Yes. Where is your husband? Don't die. Do you, do you know why I asked you? The spirit of death is over your family. We must rebuke this. Who brought this woman? She's your mother. Eh? She's your mom. Let's start with you. Because you are not fine as you look wait now. Just leave your eyes. You have to forget about who you brought. Mama, things are tied down. Things are not working for you. You do business. What do you do? What does she? Civil servant. Civil servant. What am I seeing with business? I'm a secretary assistant. Uh -uh. I'm seeing. I'm not seeing. I'm seeing something that has to do with business. I'm just. My brother does business. Okay, it's your brother that does business. Because I'm seeing everything tied down. We are going to break that yoke now. Huh? You, if we don't pray for you, you will have marriage problems. Out! Out! Now! Now! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Come out of her! Come out of her right now! Out! 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 By the fire of the Holy Ghost! She's going to cough out something now. Take her outside. You believe that I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands, my dear. Thank you, Jesus. Let the yoke of bondage leave this family right now. I break that yoke. It's of darkness. There is no standing. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Set you free. Mama, hold my hand. Weep not. Let him go now. Your reign over his life is over. And over his, the people in his family. You have stayed too long. Now. Go. Go. Let him go right now. You are living. In the mighty name of Jesus. This boy has suffered. This boy you are seeing. They have already finished this boy and his entire family. Look at him crying. But the Lord brings him hope to that. Hold my hands, Mama. Let me pray for you. Jesus, visit her. I take away this curse. This curse. Let the curse be broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Come. 
Please come. Look at me, look at me. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? Yes, because I'm seeing this is a chain on her neck. This is what I'm seeing. Eh? She has a mental disorder. Oh, she's mad. Wait now, calm down. Hold my hands. Since when? Hold my hands. Now devil, I challenge you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let this girl go now. 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 Mental spirit out of her right now. is revealing something to me it goes right now take her back to her seat and keep checking her I'm seeing a woman they diagnose you of fibroid please let's hurry up you came here it's part of your prayer your list not a young lady a woman we need to end it right now we need to end it right now a dark woman you are putting her tie her tie her tie, her tie, her tie. Come. It would disappear now in this place right now. You believe that? Please put one hand on your stomach and hold. Thank you, Jesus. Fibroid, it's time to leave. Go right now. Leave this body right now and let her return with testimonies. Out of her! Now! You are a spirit of darkness. Your time has come. You are going out of this body right now. In the name of Jesus, I command the fiber to give way. In the name of Jesus, you are leaving her now. You are leaving her now. Your reign is over. Shake it. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Lay your hands on her. Out now. You are going. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see you in the spirit. There is no hiding place. The light of God exposes you and you are living. Now in the name of Jesus. Just keep your hands on her. Please be so oppressed. Please lay your hands on him. Let me pray for him. Now, let him go. Now, the fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. There's no hiding. There's no hiding. Go, 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 go. See. Many of you, let me explain to you what is happening. It is not about the people. Some of them is the families that they represent. This is the whole family being set free. It's not even about the person. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing a fracture. I'm seeing a fracture. Fracture. Somebody with a, is a fracture. Something about legs. What happened to you? I had an accident. 
You had an accident. How long? It's July. It's July. And from then, you've not been able to walk. They operated you. Yes. But it didn't heal. It didn't heal. This is demonic. Huh? It's the accident that would have killed you. This thing would have healed. They told you after a while, everything will be, is supposed to be healed now. What's that? Your femur. Your femur. Okay. This one down. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Did they, did they try to work on it for you? And it has, you cannot work without this thing. Completely. Do you believe the Lord Jesus will heal you? With all your heart. This is why you came, right? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Lift it up. Lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. I bring you the life of the kingdom that I represent. Bones be joined to bones. Right now. Your recovery starts now. You're feeling the power of the Holy Ghost. Go through your body. Hold him. The Lord is doing a mighty work. See, he's feeling the fire of God. You're feeling the fire of God. Your recovery starts from today. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Over the next few weeks, weeks literally, it will be, but as a sign, you'll be able to walk right now without this. Just leave him. Please clear this pathway. Brother, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, look at me. Lift your leg. Start lifting your leg. Go ahead. Okay, try moving it. Any relief? Are you feeling? Yes, relief. Really. Walk by yourself. Walk by yourself. Come. Look at this. Look at this. Turn around. Turn around and come. That devil is a liar. Your miracle has started. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? Look at this. Come on. Give Jesus a big shout of praise. Look at, look at, look at, look at. See the miracle that is happening to his leg. Look at this, look at this, look at this. He could not do this. Look at, look at. He's lifting the legs. Are you seeing? Watch a miracle happen. Watch a miracle happen. Jesus, we give you praise. Jesus, we give you praise. Look at, look at this, look at this, look at this. Let's walk again. One more time. Let's walk as fast as you can. Could you do this before? The fracture is joining back. Joining back. Turn around. As it has begun, it will be perfected. Give Jesus a big shout of praise. Move back to your seat. mighty miracle has happened here someone your hand is bent is bent check it now check it you could not bend it please god just showed me it will surprise you run out right now it's a big miracle somebody's hand you could not bend it very well the lord is straightening it right now right now right now right now right now right now the lord is straightening it right now look at this what couldn't you do you could not lift it before. You could not lift it. He couldn't lift it because he was born deformed. Look at what God is doing. Now put it down, lift it up. Put it down, lift it up. Look, see, see the power of the Holy Spirit. Look at the power of the Holy You know this is dead. Look at what is happening to him. Look at this. Can you see his hands shaking? Look at this. Look at what God is doing. Look at what the Holy Ghost is doing. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Come. Look at me. Now in the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift it up and bring it down. Look at this. Bring it down. 
Lift it up again. Look at this. Give Jesus a big, big, big clap of praise. God bless you. What's wrong with her? Please, if I don't announce the case, don't bring them. What's who is who brought her? Fracture. Where? Since how long? And you could not walk. You can't walk now. You can't walk. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Just put, just put it down. Put it down. We are going to pray that over the next few weeks, it will begin to bend back into shape. You believe that? What could you not do before with it? What can she not do? Father, within the shortest possible time, let this leg bend back to order. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. It's time to wave bye bye to it. Lift up your hands. Peptic ulcer. We are going to start ministering now. Instant miracles will begin to happen. Pastor Jax is here. We'll verify them and have some. Ah. Daddy. Can I talk to you, sir? I'm seeing stroke. This is what the Lord is showing me. The devil wants to bring stroke from here. I'm seeing it completely paralyzed. This is what the Lord is showing me that the devil wants to bring. You believe me? Can I pray for you? Please hold my hands. That devil of stroke. Let him go right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That stroke will not come. We command that you are free. Name of Jesus Christ. Come. God is visiting your family. Not just you, your family. Hold my hands. Both of them. Look at me. Can you shout? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer, lift your hands. Please, listen. We are going to start praying right now. Instant miracles will start happening. Hallelujah. Where are your family members? Please come. Mama. Where is your first son? Don't point the picture. I, I'm seeing. I mean, where is he? What is he doing? Nothing is moving in this family. We must break the hands of that. Huh? Who has a child in your family? My third boy. He fell in a child. I'm seeing a child. Uh, third boy, my immediate elder sister. We are going to pray because. Okay, this is the child. You see, give God praise. See the baby. This is the baby. <laughs> Madam. Having, my second born is having mental. He's having a mental. Outside where? The person has run away. Eh? Just leave them. She's outside. Where is outside? You don't know where she is. I call her back to this auditorium right now. Wherever she is, I declare right now, whatever spirit has taken her out of this place, she returns now in the name of Jesus. Wherever she is, she returns now back to this place. I'm going to pray for you, ma. Things will change 
in a dramatic way in your family. You believe that? Visit mama. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you a visitation from God together with all the members of your family. I lay my hands. Every terminal disease in your family goes right now. Who is this? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. The power of God will come upon you. Captivity ends. Now! Out! Let this lady go free now. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now in the name of Jesus. I curse that devil of infirmity. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be free. Be free right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Lift your hands please. Now I'm going to pray for you. Pastor Jake sir. Um, well, where do we do it now? Okay, maybe we'll create. Once we begin to minister, as the Lord touches you, check yourself. We want to take some testimonies. Okay, this side. This side. Pastor Jakes will be there. Pastor Williams too is there. Please, we we'll only announce verified miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now lift your hands. All, sir, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at me. The fire of God is coming upon you, Dora. Right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take it now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please. Any miracle right now. Pastor Williams and Pastor Jakes are there to verify it. I command also, some of you will feel like fire. Just shoot from your chest. That's the end of it. Also, be healed now. This lady has ulcer. God is healing her. This lady has ulcer. Follow me, instrumentalist. Hallelujah. At the count of three, also be healed. One, two, three. Be healed right now. 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 Every trace of ulcer. Now check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. You have a miracle. Just move straight. We'll take some testimonies now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now. The Lord is showing me someone. You're from a polygamous home. Please listen. A polygamous home. Things have been going really bad in your home. In fact, two of your mothers, as in there is a serious fight going on. It's a polygamous home. God wants there is a lot of witchcraft activities going. Who is that person? Come. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I command you to look at me now. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. You don't know what I'm saying in the spirit. At the count of three, that plague of hatred is going. All of you hold your hands together. As soon as I count three, button her shirt. A female usher. As soon as I count three, the fire of God will come upon some of you. This family thing will end right now. Are you hearing me? Lift your hands, all of you. I tell you to be a mighty fire. Just at the count of three. One. Two, three, shake it, take 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 it, 
I set you free right now from altars of darkness. Be free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. They call a woman Mama Yembu. Mama Yembu. I'm hearing the Holy Spirit ministering to me. It's somebody's relative. Mama Yembu. Who is Mama Yembu? You? Mama Yembu, come. Do you? Where are the Yembu? Your name is Mama Yembu. How can God give a name in a place, Mama Yembu? These are the Yembu. Give Jesus praise. Look at. Please, somebody, can you collect the children? These children are sick. I see a plague of darkness upon their lives. He's crying. Sorry, oh boy. Are you seeing all these swellings on this child? This child, what you think is a skin infection, but this is a demonic thing. Huh? We must deal with it. Father, you reveal this. Do you know this is a worm? Do you know this is a worm? This, these are worms around the body of the child. That's what they will tell you is this and that and that. But we are going to pray for the child now. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bring life and perfection to this baby. Life in the name of Jesus Christ. Life. Boy, we bring life to you in the name of Jesus. Madam, hold my hands. Look at me. The struggle is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. The struggle is over right now. Let it rain. Let it rain. Ah, hold my hands. Let her go. 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 Out. Leave the family. One more plague and Pharaoh will let you go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go. You will be a woman of prayer from today. Praying in tongues for hours. Mama, I will pray for you. God will turn around any captivity. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Leave her. Right now. Come out of her. name of Jesus Christ. Look, many things are happening here. Don't wait on, okay, there are a few testimonies. Hallelujah. This lady came in here with Pepsi Oxa. Yes, when I came in today, whenever I'm feeling stomach ache, it's like there are pins between my intestines. But today, when he mentioned peptic ulcer, I was healed. Because when I came in, I was actually holding my tummy together like this. Anyone has to close to me outside, close to the gate, would have noticed it if you checked clearly. But now... So the pains are gone. Yeah. Completely gone. If you press it, no pains. Please come. Please come. Ensure press. Press her stomach very well. Any pain? No. Please put your hands together for the Lord. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Give Jesus a big, big clap of praise. Okay. Wow. I hear that there's a hot testimony coming here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to pray. Okay. See, when you see me flow the way I do, I move only as God directs. Are you following me now? If you move by yourself, you will do something and you won't get any result. Now, 
the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is going to address the issues of marriage right now. Please stand up. Please rise up. There is an amazing miracle here. Give God praise. Pastor Jax is coming. Somebody, a mighty, mighty deliverance here. I tell you, the devil is in trouble over your destiny this night. Please shout a big hallelujah. My God. Wow, a lot of you will not understand what happened to this lady. She said one of the nights she had a dream, a man was pressing her and forcing her to eat. Are you following? Was pressing her, forcing her to eat. And since when Apostle began to minister and began to speak over her life and command deliverance, she began to cough out things like rope. Are you following? She was feeling rope all over her voice. And right now, what's happening to you? I'm relieved. I'm feeling relieved. <coughs> Are you just looking like that? <coughs> Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. I don't care what it is. It will go. I don't care what it is. Hear me. It will go this night. Hallelujah. The Bible says, For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. Not for a man of God to be a superstar. There's no time for that. He said to destroy the works. To destroy the works. Hallelujah. Marriage is a blessing. Can you hear me inside and outside? What did I say? Marriage is a blessing. The Bible says, Therefore, for this cause, shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and they too shall become one flesh. But the devil has orchestrated it such that there are yokes of marital delays over families. But right now, I said right now, he said one more plague and Pharaoh will let you go. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to count three. Every spirit that is responsible. Some of you have people come in the night to molest you in your sleep, to sleep with you. At the count of three, I like you to shout, I am free. There will be mighty marital deliverances according to the word of the Lord. It will hit many of you, especially ladies. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Shaka tatate. Shaka tatate. Be free. Be free. Be free. Marital delay. I cost you that spirit responsible for marital delay i open up your marital destiny now in the name of jesus i open up your marital destiny by the fire of the holy ghost i release you shake it fire is burning in this place shake it make god to sort of tete market Yokes of marital delay. Yokes of marital delay is over. Over. Hallelujah. Hear me. Every one person who is supposed to be married happily with dignity and your life partner has not come up men keep coming some of you is married men some of you you just get all kinds of irresponsible men they will just come as if they are thieves into your life to steal and kill and destroy there are some of us you are brothers you are responsible people right now i pray every close marital door standing for your family standing for your children every close marital door Right now, be open in the name of Jesus. 
Be open in the name of Jesus. Shake it, 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 it. Be open in the name of Jesus. Shake it, 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 it. Be open in the name of Jesus. Fire, fire is falling. Fire is forcing doors to open up. Fire is forcing doors. Shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake break it, make God to break it, shake it, my brothers go say, rakata kete bele koto, e break it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, man break it, shake it, shake it, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I'm seeing two women. Your major prayer point was fruit of the womb. Please come out here. Fruit of the womb. Celebrate them as they come. The Lord who located you. The Lord who located you. I want you to come rejoicing. Nine months you will come back with your child. Hallelujah. Come, Selina. There was a story. Let me share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. Praise God. A woman was barren for how many years? Eight years. Eight years. She was barren for eight years. She didn't even come. It was a prayer request. Are you following me now? We prayed on it and God gave her how many children? Triplets. God gave her triplets. One, two, three. For the eight years. God gave her triplets. They are all alive. They are healthy. They brought the cups and the tray of the dedication for me. I just called her as a witness because she's a witness. Let me tell you something. The Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. I don't care what spell. I don't care what the hospital is saying. Even if they say there is no womb, that's nonsense. The Bible says who shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not declared it. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. Mommy, you will see the hand of God. Whatever has taken the place of that baby in your womb, it will give way. You will return back with testimonies. There's fire burning my hands and the Lord instructs me to lay my hands on you. Please lay your hands on your stomach. As I lay my hands on you, the fire of God will burn off that nonsense. Hallelujah. And as I pray for them, a point of contact to many of you who know some people, they have tried, they have prayed, nothing is working. We have come to call that devil a liar tonight. Are you hearing me? Now in the name of Jesus, womb be open right now womb be open now mommy return with your child return with your miracle baby baby girl baby girl look at me madam you are returning with a baby girl the name of jesus christ what the doctor said god is changing it within now and the next two weeks you will pass out all kinds of substances you will take in and you will give birth let her go out now out this is i'm seeing a spirit holding her womb release her now now by the fire of the holy ghost madam let your womb be open return with your miracle children who again if you're standing for somebody Miracle babies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Miracle babies return with your testimonies. Hallelujah. Madam, go and return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family that has been trying to build a house. It has reached Lintel level but nothing more again. This has been for years. Who is that? The Lord is showing me something. Please. Come. Look at me. Look at me. 
Wait, uh uh. I will know if you are the one. All of you look at me. The power of God will come upon one person. That is the person. But I'm going to pray for you for coming out. No problem. Don't worry, even if you are seated, I just want to minister directly. All of you look at me. Lord, you gave me a sign. Right now, whoever that person is, let the fire of God come in a mighty way. Now! I use the remaining part of you as a point of contact. Every demonic thing keeping that building, as I lay my hands on you, I tell you finance will come from everywhere. Shake it, take it. Maka protoko te brasha, mate kretos kopre, reke te kete, reke proso prosh, reka tabali kapos, ma preke telekos, mam protos kopre kete, go shata laka tapre kete balarabash, raka tapre kete, building projects, building projects, God is visiting in the name of Jesus, supernatural testimonies. Some of you before the end of the year, before the end of the year, the hand of the Lord will bring resources. Come, madam. You came out for building, but what God is going to do is more than building. You are a very good woman. Hold on. Where is your child? They are at home. Three things the Lord is going to do before now and the end of the year. Wait, madam. Let me tell you first. Number one, there will be radical financial shift in your family i've not even touched financial issues number two number two this is what is going to happen what do you do what do you do yo i'm a teacher you are a teacher i see a lot of favor i see you this woman is a very good woman very good she say amen a very good woman you can know you are good some of you are bad she knows she's good hallelujah praise the lord you have a daughter you have a daughter what's her name joy joy the lord says i should tell you it's time for her to leave her name in the family i don't know her name that's why god said i should, I should ask you of her name joy madam you will come back and you will testify it's a mighty visitation lord confirm your word with signs did i pray for you you're a businessman you do not even know but you're a major businessman come you have not started anything you don't know anything. go and read let me tell you my brother what do you do you are, you are going to do business in a mighty way and god is going to prosper you in a very mighty way you follow me we have not touched the area of finance will come because there are many families here this is an issue who we'll address that but for now let me just pray for you for what you came for Let mama go free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Did I pray for you? Deliverance comes now. Deliverance comes now. You will let her go. Your body is afflicted. Deliverance comes now. Shake it katabaladaba. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, deliverance comes now. Come. Look at me. Button the other shirt. You need to be serious with God. Huh? You are young, but you are not serious with God. But God loves you. Huh? When it's time for altar call, just run and come and stand. Okay? God loves you and he wants to use you. Wow. Sister, that fair lady, please run and come quickly. The yoke of delay is ending in your family. See, look at me. You don't know why I'm saying you should run. Don't do woman, woman. I'm saying run. These are instructions. You understand? Please go back and run out. Don't be embarrassed. God spoke to me. I'm not doing foolish things. Come. Don't worry, I'll hold you so that you don't Hold my hands. Hold my hands. It's both.
both of your hands. I saw a measuring tape and the Lord says it is the time for favor. Are you following me? Lord, confirm your word right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, your family will come with rejoicing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please bring out your prayer request. Start passing it out while we address. Now, if you are sick in your body, please hear me. Any kind of sickness, it's time for you to come out right now. Come out and line up here for healing. Any kind of sickness, please come and line up here for healing. While they do that, ushers, everybody pass your prayer request to the last person by the side. Outside, please. Please don't miss it. God answers prayers here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want us to know that God is going to visit us in a remarkable way tonight. There is something about the sacrifice of praise and worship. When you commit yourself. When you commit yourself to praise his holy name and to worship hallelujah something happens in your life and let me tell you something jesus is in this place through the ministry of all the mighty vessels you may not understand it's like a spiritual alignment in the heavens and through the praise and the prayer and the worship there is an alignment hallelujah it says, now when the day of Pentecost was fully come, there is, there is a synchrony when spiritual things align with this realm. It produces a reaction. And all the while, I kept seeing how that this alignment, because you see, if you must receive from God, everything must be done according to power. There is a spiritual pattern. Oh, come, oh, come, me, man, and ransom captive Israel. Oh, come, oh, come, man. And ransom captive
Spirit of the living God, we submit to your authority. You are able to change. Give us an experience. Hallelujah. Please pray. We are praying. Most high, most high, I lift you up, most high. Yeah, yeah. I call you Lord, most high. I lift you up, most high. Call him most high. upon the throne I truly hail you most high you're the lion of Judah the lamb upon the throne I hail you most high hello Madonna Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Hallelujah. Father, tonight. As a people that you have chosen, we submit to your authority. And we declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that everything that does not carry your image must leave tonight. In the name of Jesus. Would you open up the gate? Open up the door. Ah, yeah. Would you open up the gate? Open up the door. Would you open up the gate? Open up the door. Would you open up the gate? Open up the gate. Open up the door. Spirit of the living God, there are sick people in this place. There are families tied down. There are people who have come from all over this nation. They have not come to see a man. They have not come to see man. In the glory I will stand. I will stand and lift my hand. 
it's in your glory I'll receive every miracle you have for me it's in your glory we will stand we will stand and lift our hands it's in this glory we will receive every miracle you have for us once again i welcome everyone people have traveled all across this nation to be here let me tell you something you will never 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 go back the same i give you this as a guarantee tonight you will never I had so many encounters while I prepared for this meeting. I had so many encounters. And the Lord told me four things that he would be doing tonight. Hallelujah. The first thing that the Lord told me is that he will be taking men to new planes of grace in the spirit. Don't stop. Mike, flow, please. Don't stop. Don't stop. There is an anointing upon me. You should know that. He says, I will reveal my dark sayings upon the harp and prophesy. Hallelujah. That's the first thing that the Lord is going to be doing tonight. Taking men to levels of grace. He says, and we beheld him he was full of grace and truth something will happen to you tonight oh what was not a possibility in your life brothers and sisters it's not by power hear me it's not by might there is an encounter with the anointing of the Holy Spirit there is an encounter with the presence of the mighty one it says we have not taught you cunningly devised fables there is a reality of the spirit that when you touch, it will translate into a life in this earth that men will call you a God. The Bible says in Psalms 82 from verse 5, it says they know not, neither do they understand. And so they grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course. Verse 6 says, have I not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high? It says, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. There is a reality of the spirit that you will touch this morning. Hallelujah. And that reality will do something to you. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, ministries will change tonight. Graces will come upon you. Brothers and sisters, do not trivialize what you are about to receive. A time must come in your life, you will touch a reality beyond you. You cannot take yourself higher by yourself. Hear me, let me tell you something. The Bible says, listen, the Bible says Saul was an ordinary man, the son of Kish. And he left to go and look for the donkey of his father. But when he encountered an anointing, he said, as you go, you will find a band of prophets. That atmosphere will affect the programming of your spirit. And you will begin to communicate. They saw him and said, is Saul also one of the prophets? Because there is something about a spiritual atmosphere. It is able to do something to your spirit and open you up to certain realities. Listen, if it is not there, it is not there. It's as simple as that. So that's the first thing the Lord is going to be doing. There are people who came from different places. 
there are probably hundreds of ministries represented here pastors with your churches and you are crying lord this is this there has to be more there are many people crying and saying lord i'm tired of struggling oh there is a fountain of true grace let me tell you when you touch that fountain your life will bear witness it will become a testament hallelujah number two is that the lord is going to curse the spirit of infirmity I got so many text messages while preparing. There are people here who discharge their loved ones from hospitals and drag them. All scattered around. There are people with death sentences right now. Let me tell you, we have not come to play. We owe God and we owe you every seriousness it takes. Because we realize that there are people, if the power of God does not touch them tonight, they are going to die. It was a step of faith from different families. But who is like him? The lion and the lamb is seated on the throne. Oh, he's the mighty one. This is our confidence. Mountains bow down. And every ocean rose to the Lord of all. That's the God we are talking about. He's a mighty God. No man voted him into power. Nothing makes him to scratch his head from his throne, wondering what to do with your life. Hallelujah. We have come to call the devil a liar. Listen to me. No matter how long this infirmity has lingered in your body, it must bow tonight. Hallelujah. Oh yes, it must bow. For 18 years, that daughter of Abraham kept moving bound and sick. But in less than five minutes, it doesn't take time. It takes the invasion of God's glory. Hallelujah. The third thing that the Lord is going to be doing my phone please the third thing that the Lord is going to be doing is that the Lord is going to be ending the reign of evil and witchcraft over families take seriously what I'm saying whether you believe it or not is irrelevant the Bible says why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing can I tell you brothers and sisters there are families and destinies tied down here and you have come upon this mountain and you're crying and saying, Lord, visit me. I have good news for you. The mighty one will arise like a warrior tonight. He will arise. While the prayer session was going on, the people leading the prayer were emphasizing that the judgment of God is coming upon if you have a problem with God judging people, evil people, then it means you have a fraternity with them. Let me tell you, it takes the ability of the spirit to dislodge the hand of evil. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says, although everything has been put under his feet, but as it is now, we do not yet see all things. But we see Jesus. So Psalm 63 Psalm 66 verse 3 says, How awe-inspiring are your ways. He said, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. It takes an ability of the spirit to compel obedience. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The fourth thing the Lord is going to be doing tonight is he's going to be breaking limits. This is what we call breakthrough. When that which has been limiting you gives way, all of a sudden you will rise to a new horizon. There must be a testament. He said, thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Thou shalt increase my greatness. He said, Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. But that was not his present situation. His mother named him according to her pain. And a time came in the life of Jabez when he cried, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. 
this is not the end of me and the bible says god heard his prayer tonight will be that jacob encounter for someone and you will hold on to the lord and something will happen to you his name was changed and the bible says the sun arose and they called the place peniel that place of encounter hallelujah let me tell you two things before I begin to minister. Can you sit down? Let's, let's sit down for a minute or two. Listen to me, please, brothers and sisters. I want to share with you something. Did you know, listen. I was thinking to myself while I prepared and I just fellowship with the Spirit of God and um, I told myself something and as I speak the words that I speak are very prophetic tonight because God is going to be oh I didn't tell you one other thing that the Lord told me is clarity and direction oh yes because that's what a lot of people how could I miss it? Please let me have my phone. Where is my phone? Protocol. Hallelujah. Please let me have it. I wrote it there. Clarity and direction. The Bible says you shall hear a voice. There are many of us. Is missing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Clarity and direction. There are ministries that are where they are because they just need one word from the Lord. It says, and thou shalt hear a voice from behind. One of the most frustrating things that can happen to a man is that you lack spiritual direction on where to go. You will guess too much in your life and it will look like God did not call you. But tonight, may our maker speak. And I pray that through these words, we will hear the voice of the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I began to think to myself there are many people who want fame listen to me there are many people who want anointing there are many people who want crowds like this there are many people who want recognition and they want honor hallelujah and then we try to maneuver all of the ways and the principles that we can maneuver all of the principles that we try to learn so that we can attract people attract resources attract everything but i want to share with you one big secret the lord taught me this secret in 2005 and one is a very simple secret that can change your life if you will forget about everything else and seek the lord truly listen not everything in the kingdom is a gift. I've said this again and again. Not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are rewards. If everything is a gift, what then is the reward of obedience? Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are dimensions in the spirit, brothers and sisters. There is a level of rest that is not a gift. He said, come unto me all ye that are heavy laden and I will give you. This one is a gift. But he said, there remaineth a rest for the people of God. Although they are the people of God, there are certain dimensions that it will take your partnership and your cooperation with the Spirit. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, if we stop chasing money and power and all of these things and focus in His presence, the anointing that He will put upon your life is his reward for your persistence in the spirit and brothers and sisters when something that is divine comes upon your life the nations will look for you god is already speaking to people right now there are many people we like being famous we like being the ones on stage we want to be the happening people but let me tell you the greatest publicity of a believer is to remain in the secret place that's how you announce yourself. 
he has become my passion my obsession i repented from ministry years ago years ago and i became an ardent seeker of his presence i was seeing miracles signs and wonders in very humbling proportions but the day he appeared to me i knew that nothing else is God speaking to someone? The presence of God is greater than anything. That's what you really need. You don't know that that is it, but I'm telling you that's it. When you find the presence of God, you have found the place of the anointing. You have found the place of true grace. You have found the place of lifting. You have found a key out of your way, out of the door of being ignored. They may criticize you, but never to ignore you because his glory is upon your life. He says, Gentiles, they won't come to you because they like you. They will come to your light. And then at a point, their kings will come to your ever-increasing brightness. God is speaking to us tonight. My priority has been to turn people to focus and entirely on God and everything that is him not just his power not just his might listen to me you can receive a miracle a miracle does not transform people they saw the dead raised to life but when Jesus rose the Bible says some doubted oh but the presence of God you can fake power but not his presence hallelujah are you willing to stay enough until there is a handwriting of his majesty upon your life when he writes upon your life you become a wonder to the nations distant shores and the islands will see your life no matter how you are it doesn't matter what your limitations are brothers and sisters when the hand of God comes upon your life the nation must listen to you God wants to take us farther than we can ever imagine. There are ministries here. What you have seen is only a step out of the cave compared to the dimensions that God wants to take you. That's why I get very afraid when people get distracted. And let me tell you, crowds can be deceitful. <laughs> the applauds of men can be... We are human beings. So our, our natural tendency is to enjoy and receive the applause of men and there's nothing wrong with that except for the fact that the greatest limitation to your success is not failure is the last one you had it has a way of stopping you from entering great dimensions the disciples came rejoicing they said even the demons Jesus said hold on this is not the time to rejoice there is more Did you know that as you're seated there, there is more than God can do? If only you pay attention to spiritual things. I'm not just talking of revelation. The quest for Rema can become an idol. The quest for ministry can become an idol. Reading your Bible religiously can become an idol. Your gift can become an idol. Your anointing can become an idol. Anything that is not him is an idol. Even if it is close to him. You're worshipping the four living creatures because they are close to Jesus does not make you a true worshipper. Your worshipping of angels does not make you a worshipper. Lucifer tried it. He said, I am so close. I am the custodian of the revelations of the kingdom. And I will exalt myself above the stars of God. God would have said, it's alright. Since you are close to me, I can check balance any excesses. But he was judged. If you want to see the power and the glory of God in your life, the first thing is to seek his face. Psalm 63 says, Oh Lord, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul longs after you. It says to see your power and your glory as I have seen in the sanctuary. While I was preparing for this meeting, all I was saying is, Lord, don't let the uploads of men destroy me too young for the vanity because I have learned in the little time serving the Lord 
that men are dangerous. They can clap for you today and say, Hosanna, blessed is he that comes. And they can stab you and destroy you. He says, search my heart and try my thoughts. And if you find any wicked way in me, lead me to the way everlasting. He has become my obsession. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over, Jehovah. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have touched the end of myself. So take over, take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over, just over. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have touched the end of myself. Listen. When you stay in the presence of God, you will find something that is tangible. The gift of the Spirit and His anointing upon your life comes to honor your consistency in the Spirit. And brothers and sisters, when it comes upon your life, then you have a message to the nations. There are many people running helter-skelter. I don't know why God is speaking specifically to many of us. I know there are people scattered around. Some of you may have watched the gifts and the great men and women of God that God used here. But you see, behind every glory is a testament of sacrifice in the spirit. How much do you love him? Do you love him beyond miracles? Do you love him beyond signs and wonders? I know you desire breakthrough. But the Bible says they draw to me with their hearts. Their hands, but their hearts are far. Their lips, but their hearts are far away. Tonight, I'm challenging your passion for spiritual things. If your primary purpose of coming here is just to get a miracle, you will get one. God is too merciful. He cannot deny himself. But the trouble is, you need to rise from one dimension of grace to another. The goal of this meeting is not just to have a great man of God minister to people, but that we will be drawn to tap from a true fountain of spiritual realities. So that we become these ambassadors, this envoys of his presence. Hallelujah. I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship him and give a praise to him alone. He who was needs and is to come I will see before the throne forever and ever hallelujah everyone lift your hands and say after me in the name of Jesus I make a commitment to love God and to serve him with my entire life I make a commitment beyond money beyond fame beyond power beyond recognition I take God seriously I take his presence seriously I hunger and thirst for you Dry and weary land. Yeah. I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land for all I want is you. Yes, all I want 
is you. We hunger and thirst for you. We hunger and thirst for you. In a dry and weary land. We hunger and thirst for you. In a dry and weary land. For all we want is you. Just the voices. Sing all we want. All we want is you. We hunger and thirst for you. We hunger and thirst for you. A dry and weary land. A dry and weary land. For all we want is you. Let that be the cry of everyone in this place. Say all, all I want. Forget about your ministry. Forget about all of those things that deceive men into perdition. Forget about everything, the accolades that are tied, apostle, prophet. Drop all that tonight and say, Lord, I hunger for you. I hunger and thirst for you. In a dry and weary land. I hunger and thirst for you. In a dry and weary land. Listen, this is the secret of transgenerational relevance. You are relevant no matter what the agenda of God is. There are people who are relevant, but when the agenda of God changes, the emphasis of God for a season, they are no longer featured because they become stale. They have lacked the ability. I preached the message, the secret of sustained glory. I have seen many anointings. I have seen many men who walked and moved in power. Great ministries. But you look at them and you know that their candlestick has been shifted. Because they do not understand the spiritual technology that sustains the face of God towards a man. It's not about just being great. It's not just about being anointed. It's about being at Addicted. And you say, Lord, if it means for the ministry to go, let it go. Pastor Ike said something that touched me very dearly. He acknowledged his wife, but in her presence, he did show that before she came, there was a faithful person. There are many of us that have a lot of idols in our lives. And some of these idols are not necessarily things like immorality and the rest our search for anointing i got a lot of text messages from different people man of god i have come to drink double portion or whatever of your anointing and i say this is exactly what we're saying brothers and sisters when you want the anointing you must seek the custodian of that anointing hallelujah i will lay down my idols and thrones I have made And all that has taken My heart Yes, I will lay down my ministry And the thrones I have made Great man, Apostle Joshua Selman and all that has taken my heart. Sing, Lord, I will bow, Lord. I will bow to you. To no other God but you, Lord. Oh, this is how it works in the spirit. He is king and king alone, Lord. I will worship Nothing hands have made Nothing hands have made But you Lord Can you sing it from the depths of your heart Lay down your idols tonight I will lay down my idols And thrones I have made And all that I stay Let's sing that part again. I'll lay down my idols. Come on. 
Lord, I will lay down my idol. The thrones I have made and all that I've taken. My heart. One more time. I will lay down my idols. Come on. Lord, I will lay down my idol. Thrones I have made. Just the voices, I'll lay down my idols. Lord, I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that I stay in my heart. Whenever the Lord comes to a man, he does not add to what you have. He looks at what you have and is finding himself there. If he does not find himself, that building must be crushed into pieces. No matter how many years it took to build that Babel, when God builds, he leaves his signature upon that building as a sign that he supervised consistency. And when God looks at your life, it doesn't matter how many years you've been doing ministry. It doesn't matter how great a leader you are. It doesn't matter when he looks and he does not find his charisma. That ministry must die. Isaiah in chapter 1 began to prophesy. He was a true prophet. Began to speak and communicate spiritual things. But in chapter 6, the Bible says, In the year that King Uzziah died, what must die tonight so that you will see higher? It says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I, Isaiah, I saw the Lord. And when I saw him, he was high and lifted up. And I did not know that this was the one I had been representing. It's possible to represent a God you know nothing about. And when Isaiah looked at him and he saw the extent of his royalty, you're my treasure, my priority. Who can compare with you? For great is the measure of your royalty. No morning star, you truly are everything. That's my testimony. I love him more than anything. No matter what stands in his way, it will go. Oh, yes. I can't be a fool. I've read about revivals and how great men rose up and went down. MOG, God is speaking to you. You are there scattered in the congregation, hoping to get something new and take back to your members. The only new thing is that your heart, my heart, is yours my mind is yours my will is yours you're the king of my life you're the king of my life we're going to rise up and I will pray shortly but I need you to know that it is all about your passion to seek his face. This is the secret of true spiritual power. This is the true revelation of relevance. It's a realm where you truly rest. You enter the Sabbath when you seek his face. You leave the realm of trial and error. You leave the realm of trying to seek approval from men. You get into the Sabbath of your destiny. For when you find him, you have found life. When you find him, you have found a song. When you find him, you have found everything. It all belongs to you. Oh, oh, oh. it all belongs to you. It all belongs.
the talents, the gifts, the grace. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Let's sing it two more times and then we'll rise up and pray. rise up Mark chapter 1 Mark chapter 1 verse 32 and in the evening when the sun did set they brought unto him all that were diseased and those who were possessed with demons and all the city was gathered together at the door and he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many demons and permitted not the demons to speak because they knew him. Acts chapter 10 from verse 38 says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. The Bible says he went about doing good doing good bringing breakthroughs to lives causing men to experience the reality of God's life tonight you will find a consolation for your Christian experience God is not a self-centered and wicked king it is true that you serve him anyway but he can take the pain away are you hearing what I'm saying and tonight my father will visit this place there will be a convocation of the spirit mm, I know this I know this. He left a witness. Lives will be changed. Burdens and yokes will be broken. There is power in the name of Jesus. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Ah. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power, and it's in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every to break every chain. Sing it. There's power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Of Jesus, La Cata Prade Banana Bosch of Rosu Banana. There is power. Every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Visit me tonight. Go ahead and pray. Zabala barada bosh, rakata bata bata dada bakoposh. Lord, the time has come. Visit me. Nembratos kole barika tabariada. Yeah, 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 yeah
Go ahead, pray. Visit me tonight. Goodness, I sense the anointing of the Spirit in this place. Father, in a mighty way, in a mighty way, change lives, change destinies. Let there be an unforgettable encounter. Let sick bodies be healed. Let blind eyes open. Let deaf ears be unstopped. Let the yoke of darkness over your people. Let that dagon that oppresses people. Come on, pray and say, Lord, visit me. Wherever you are, inside and outside, something will happen to you. Hallelujah. Listen. Every time the presence of God shows up, listen to me. Every time. Every time the presence of God shows up, he goes to the root of your situation. God is not a foolish person. While you come to him for headache, the problem may be typhoid. And he goes straight to the point. And brothers and sisters were stepping straight into the business of the night. And were trusting God. Mm. Oh goodness. Now I see these angels. I don't see this angel all the time. His name is Zion's help. Listen, listen. I think in my whole life I've seen this angel only about three or four times. And every time he comes, there is massive breakthrough. I see the angels of the Lord in this place. I see mighty warrior angels. It's okay, it's okay. Ushers, it's okay, please. Let the people sit, doesn't Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Lift your hands, everyone. And let's worship him because he's about to change our lives. Monday double My goodness, I see mighty, mighty warrior angels. The northern army of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says, upon Mount Zion, upon strings. Can someone please play strings? Keyboard is who is playing strings? That flowing sound, please just follow me. Forget about professionalism now. Just follow, follow exactly. Just do what I'm telling you to do. This is under the influence of the Spirit. We have done well, we have ministered. Let us flow with the anointing. Hallelujah. There are families that are tied down by all kinds of yokes of darkness. God didn't send us to play games or make a name for ourselves. He said to comfort all day that mourn in Zion, to appoint unto them that today is your day of liberty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're going to pray. Every power that is not of God must let you and your family go tonight. Hallelujah. Father, visit your people. 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 Now hear me. At the count of three. Mm. So pakataya. I see that sword again. I see that sword. Bring them out. I see that sword of the spirit. At the count of three, hear me. Inside and outside, there will be a convocation of the power of God. And every yoke of darkness must give way right now. Every spell and every enchantment. Man te la katosota is a blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance 
lift your hands at the count of three i like us to shout that name that is above every other name i invoke the power of the kingdom i represent and i declare in the name of the lord jesus that everyone and every family under any spell bring them out ushers every spell of darkness in the name that is above all names i speak with an apostolic voice from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus that every power every witchcraft that has kept god's people down you must go now at the count of three shout that name one two get ready now three Go fresh today. Now, now, I command those powers. I command powers inside and outside in the overflow. Right now, right now, Marco Pocotos, Embrekete, Shoto Prosketa. In the name of Jesus, I command judgment. Judgment. Every altar, every yoke. Outside, there are angels moving outside. There are angels with mighty swords outside. Soto to 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 to, makata pres, sopo seke, engrata ta ta. No power that ties your destiny will remain tonight. Embrekete. Soto kota, mande brakata. Olekete brekete. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. All those in the overflow, right to the second overflow at the back. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, everybody outside. Jesus, Zika, mande kabarokos, skatade, ambratele bondo sukai. In the name of Jesus, I want those outside to shout that name, Jesus. And there are people, I see chains, chains around people. At the count of three, those outside, the Holy Ghost is going to visit families. There is fire that will fall outside. Are you ready now, those outside? One, two, three. I see a pruning fork outside. I see a pruning fork outside. Lord, let no family, let no individual stand. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Hallelujah. Sarah, Sarah, who is Sarah? I'm hearing the name Sarah. Sarah. The power of God is still visiting people. Sarah, who is that person? Don't bratishela. Benway State. Benway State. The Sarah I'm talking about is from Benway State. You are from Benway State. The Lord is going to set your family free. Hallelujah. She brought the super. Sign up, sign up, sign up, sign up. Cambri do jaleke bratus kalabash. So prosti balande brehete na kozubarai. Who is sign up? Skata barada da balada bosh. To the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Shombrekete barataka, 
Seketeva Lada Bones. The Lord is showing me a lady in this room. The power of God is going to come upon you now. Because I see the angel of the Lord moving in this room. In the name of Jesus, I curse that which is evil. There is no hiding for the devil. There is no hiding for evil. Hallelujah. Who is Musa? Musa. Musa. I'm hearing the name Musa. Please let's say time is almost gone. It doesn't look like it's a vigil again. Musa, M-U-S-A, you are outside. You are wearing like a green, light green striped shirt. Come. Hurry up. Let's save time. Your name is Musa? Huh? Come and stand here. Look at me. Do you know me? Did I discuss anything with you? Come and stand here. I'm seeing a family that brought a sick person. There is a family that brought a sick person. I don't know if they are outside because I'm seeing in the spirit. I know many families came with sick people but then there, there is a particular family I'm seeing. The Lord is going to anoint you. Hold my hands. In strange ways, you will step into new levels. You will drink of the wine of the spirit in very strange ways. Never will you be little again. Empower her by the strength of heaven in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Never, never will you be small. Never will you be small. I activate those spiritual things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let deep call on to deep. Let deep call on to deep. Let deep call on to deep. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's her name? What's she? Huh? Sarah. From Benway State. Look at me. I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft in your family. You love God, but that's you came with who? By yourself. You came alone. Father, in the name of Jesus, would you visit this family? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Out of her now. Out. Set her family free. Out. I curse that power of darkness. You must go now. Now. I see a coven on fire. This is what I see in the spirit. Oh, it must leave. It must leave. It must leave. Mountains bow down. Every ocean roam. To the Lord of Lord Who is like him Breakthrough Kabodogo Subada Breakthrough for your family In the name of Jesus The Lord is changing their stories The Lord is breaking limits That's what the spirit of God is saying Break I command those limits Be broken Be broken from the realm of the spirit Limits be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be broken by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Come, my dear. Do you have an elder sister? Where is she? No mic again. Is she married? Hold on, don't worry. Let me talk to you. Is she married? But there's no peace with her and her husband. I'm seeing serious fight. Is that true? There is what is wrong. Did they tell you? The, the husband, he married. Uh... Lay your hands on your chest. Out of her now. Out. That devil of darkness. She thinks the family has a problem. This is, this is the devil because if, we, if I don't pray for you, this is the same thing I see happening in your home. The same thing. Because, uh, it's alright, don't worry. Whatever it is. Ah, what am I seeing? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a black stone on your chest. Look at me, sister. Let me talk to you. Huh? 
I'm seeing a black stone. Sometimes when you lie down, it's like you are gasping for air. And you even... Yes, I have uh, this chest pain. Since I but you, it looks like asthma. But this is not asthma. This is witchcraft. Come. Listen, I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ nothing will escape the anointing of the spirit no matter what is wrong with you no matter what it is the eye of the spirit the eye of the spirit must bring you out of the pants of darkness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I prophesy to you no matter how far you are now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Sister, look at me. Lay your hands. You are going to be healed now. Look at me. Lay your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will feel something coming out right now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. These are the hands of Jesus as an ambassador. I bring to you the power of the kingdom I represent. Out of her now. Out. Never return to her again. Never return. Stand up. Check her. Stand up, my sister. Give her the mic. Breathe in and out. Check yourself. Right now. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Look at this. Come on. Just breathe in. Do what you couldn't do before. Do what you couldn't do. Look, she's even surprised. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, it doesn't take time. It only takes the power of God. It will never return to you. Listen, my dear, let me tell you this. Look at me. He will grant you your desire. Why am I seeing a ring in the spirit? Ah, huh? look at me. Are you married? This is one of your prayer requests here. Stand up. Let me pray for you. Because I'm seeing a ring in the spirit. And the Lord, I had that scripture to appoint unto them in Zion. To tell them this is the set time. I pray for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not only will you get married, you will get married to a godly man. You will marry a fool. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will marry a man of the spirit and you will marry a man of vision. I speak to you. The Lord visits your entire family tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Musa. Look at me. My brother. Is your name Musa? Look at me. You are Musa too. Who is Adamu? Adamu. I'm hearing the name Adamu. Adamu. I don't know if he's here or still part of the people here. Do you know anybody called Adamu? Hallelujah. I'm hearing the name Adamu. If there's someone like that, you can come. Hold my hand, sir. Let me pray for you. The Lord wants to bring breakthrough to your life and your family. You love Jesus very well. Because the Lord wants to do great things in your life. Huh? But you need to take away distraction and focus on him entirely. Hallelujah. My dear, listen to me. Touch that lady for me. Look at me. Lift your hands. Because I'm hearing your prayer in my ears. And you are asking the Lord to visit you. I don't know what is it about your health and even your life. Now in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be a visitation for her. Now! That devil of darkness, you must leave. Because Jesus is Lord. Right now. Never to return again. Lift your hands. I see four ladies with her kind of case. Right now, wherever they are, those four ladies. The, I see the power of God coming on four ladies. At least four ladies right now. Right now, it's coming on four ladies. Four ladies I see in the spirit. Lord, in the name of Jesus, whoever those ladies are. Right now, let the power of God touch them. Let the power of God touch them wherever they are wherever they are be healed now
Abigail. There is an Abigail in this room. Abigail. The Lord is directing me. Abigail. Who is Abigail? There are two Abigails. Come on. Two of you are Abigail. Come and stand. Jesus is wonderful. Lord, I give you praise. Hold your hands together. Oh Lord, will you not open the floodgates for these families? Look at me. God is healing an infirmity from your body right now. Right now right now god is healing an infirmity and i'm seeing i'm seeing like firewood being brought together so that the flames upon your life that has died will be reignited my dear your relationship with jesus christ look at me you love jesus please you need to be on fire for jesus christ there's no one leg in one leg out you understand what i'm saying right does it make sense to you so when i make an altar call run come and stay and flog it out with destiny tonight. Jesus loves you. Hold my hands because he wants to help you. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will visit this lady in a very great way. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. Lord, let the healing power of Jesus flow through her body right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. And I'm seeing something that looks like a load being taken off your head right now. Be healed. Now! In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why are they here? I hope everyone is here because I called them. Don't worry, we're going to be very fast about it. Our time is gone. I can't remember what. Did I talk to you? Yeah? Musa, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. Truly, God is going to use you. God is going to use you. Lord, anoint him and use him for your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your name is Zainab. I'm seeing Zainab in front of your head. Let me talk to you. Look at me. Where's your mom? She is at home. Is she fine? Your mother is not fine. We need to pray for her. Because I'm seeing them taking her on admission. And they are saying she's sick. Huh? We have to pray. I'm even seeing them trying to use a knife to perform surgery but in the name that is above all names right now and you too abdominal pain you are being healed of it right now in the name of Jesus Christ lay your hands on your stomach you will feel like fire going through your stomach right now heal in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ. God will use you. Okay, hold my hands. You need a change of genotype. What's your genotype? That's why I'm seeing in the spirit. Because the Lord, immediately I looked at her, the Lord told me her problem is that her genotype must be changed. If not, they will tell her she will not live very long and die. You are SS. This is sickle cell. Where is she? Who is who are you here with? My brother. Where is he? Brother, come. You need a miracle. Run wherever you are. Brother, where is he? Brother, sir, please run and come. The Lord wants to touch you. Look at me. Do not say it is impossible. Not when Jesus Christ steps in. Oga, you're welcome. Jesus Christ is going to step into your family. You believe that? We have to pray for you. Huh? Do you believe Jesus can change genotypes? You believe? Huh? Because this is a family thing. If God doesn't help you people, you are all humanly speaking or medically speaking in trouble. Ah! But who is there like you? There's no one above you. I need to go to worship you. Lift your hands and sing that song. I lift it Both of you hold your hands. Who is there like you? Who is there like you? Oh, 
I lead the earth. Hallelujah. Let's cost this thing. You believe that? It will be cost. Mm. Jesus changed their genotypes. Please let them know miracles are real. The power of God is coming upon both of you right now. In the name of Jesus, I command a change, supernatural change of that genotype. We change it in the spirit. Change it. SS turns to AA now. SS turns to AA now. SS turns to AA now. You will go to the hospital, you will confirm it. We call it done. SS turns to AA now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone outside. I know we are going to pray for everyone, but I'm still a woman outside. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I'm seeing a woman outside. Someone outside, you're trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You are wearing her tie. Her tie. Not like her tie of a cloth, but like, like silk or something like that. Who is that person? Please run and come. Is it green? It's not green. It's many colors like flowers. Like flowers. I don't know if it's flowers I'm seeing. Please, who is that woman? And then it's like something black. I'm also seeing something black. Is it like a cloth, black or jacket? Come. and check yourself it's over and then the lord is going to use you lift your hands the lord wants to impart an anointing upon you look at me father use this girl for your glory in jesus name from the depths of my heart i release the healing anointing upon you right now that anointing will come on you right now right now never be the same go and begin to heal the sick in the name of jesus you will feel fire coming on both of your hands right now that's the healing power of Jesus Christ touching you and may you take that healing power to nations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ both of them please come your hunger for spiritual things will be satisfied tonight both of you lift your hands Jesus let their lives never be the same. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands upon you, I plant a hunger. Ay, 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 ay. Hold your hands together. Hold your hands together. The power of God is moving from these two ladies and it will move across this room. And there is a separation and it's on only ladies. Only ladies. Right now, as I lay my hands on them, it's happening across certain ladies the fire of god will just come upon you let it be done now 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 the vistas of eagles for ladies Shikai only ladies the holy spirit told me only ladies bring them out the borders i call you from the realm of the spirit the borders i call you from the realm of the spirit i call for the borders the border mantles I call them forth from the realm of the spirit. It's spilling over outside. Outside. I'm seeing a cloud moving outside. 
devourers are catching the fire of the spirit. Lord, we give you praise. That, ma that madam on green, the Lord is going to begin to open your eyes. Where you are, an angel of the Lord is standing close to you right now. And I see an impartation of the spirit of revelation. Now, take it where you are. Mankatabarakate Teleko Shoposkaba According to the time of life, return with your baby. Now, return with your baby. Now, according to the time of life, we put an end to anything. Let my king be lifted up. Oh. Bring that lady. Bring her. For the angels who did not keep their original estate what are you doing in this body it's time for you to leave now without manifestation don't waste our time out hold your peace and leave now never to return and as you go let there be a restoration of everything in the name of the christ of god you leave now and let this family experience breakthroughs thank you jesus christ thank you it ends it ends the captivity of 17 years ends in the name of jesus it ends bring her jesus you believe and i am the lord will use you but before he uses you that devil of darkness must let you go therefore i speak to you i see you in the spirit there is no hiding you are not of god and i judge you by the authority of the kingdom i represent let her go right now in the name of jesus let her go right now fibroid fibroid i'm seeing fibroid we are going to pray we'll pray for every sick person who has come but let's just flow as the holy ghost can i talk to her madam come if you're coming out here for fruit of the womb make sure you are married properly married please we are christians hallelujah fruit of the womb how many years? Just one year now. This one year. Yes, sir. But uh, ah, look at what I'm seeing in the spirit. But the devil is very wicked. I'm looking at this woman and I kept quiet. And then the Lord began to show me Steve. I saw an angel of the Lord bringing a child. Right? Listen to me. But then immediately it entered this realm. I just saw blood. Then I saw an angel coming with a child again. And when it entered this realm, I saw blood. How many times have you had Miska? Two times. Two times. This is what I saw in the spirit. That as the angel of the Lord brought a child, but in this realm, I saw blood and it was miscarriage. But Jesus is Lord. See, I'm not doing anything. There is absolutely nothing. This is Jesus the Christ. The one who should be exalted. Madam, you believe in the Lord. That's why you are here. According to the time of life, I speak to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will stand before the people of God with your miracle baby. And I see God cleaning your stomach so that they don't tell you there is an infection. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? In the name of Jesus. 
is over right now. Return with your miracle baby in Jesus' name. You too. You are married. Fruit of the womb. What did the doctors tell you? They said there's fibroid. There's fibroid. Because as I was standing, I was hearing fibroid. Fibroid. Come and stand. Listen to me. You will go to ease yourself pass out this whole fight but physically you will see it coming out you believe in miracles huh? because the solution is not operation they will operate you and then it will come back again this is what I'm saying huh? it's not about operation there is a name that is above all names I'm not a medical doctor I'm not negating medicine are you getting my point I'm just ministering in the capacity drink of the wine of the spirit may you never be the same never be the same never be the same not only prayer fire but you are receiving the healing anointing is coming from your spirit the same thing is happening to you both of them please lift your hands there is the healing anointing that will come upon some people right now. Lift your hands. Father, as many of those people right now, right now, right now, it's going to come as fire. I see liquid fire in the spirit. Go ahead and shout Jesus once. One to go. Receive it. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. Receive it now, inside and outside. Receive it now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Someone hold Shade, hold Shade so she doesn't fall. Hold her, but the healing anointing is coming on her. It's, it's, it's more of a scary, because it has always been there. It has always been there. Three of you, hold your hands. Ken, Kenya, I promise. Hold your hands. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Step into new levels, new levels of the anointing, new levels of the power of the Spirit, new dimensions in the Spirit. Hold, place, place one hand on your stomach. Say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, I believe in you. Let fibroid, Let fibroid pass out of my body now. Pass out of my body now. Now watch what happens to you. You prayed it yourself. Fibroid, you are a spirit. Benga, lift your hands. There is an angel standing close to you. Take it now. My dear, touch this lady for me. The Lord has heard your prayer. Come, come, please save time. Come. Look at me. What is wrong? Why are you crying? It's okay. Child of Jesus is here. Tonight is a night of divine solutions. Look at me. Lay your hands on your stomach. Let there be a visitation, oh God. Right now. I cause evil. It ends. I appoint it to end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear. You will return with your miracle baby in the name of Jesus Christ. Just hold my hands and look at me. The Lord is touching your stomach. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hmm. 
be made whole right now in Jesus' name. You? Adam? Where is he? He's at home. What's he doing? Uh, he's working. He's working. And he's preparing for his wedding. He's preparing for what? His wedding. His wedding. Yes. We have to pray so that you will not have an accident on the road. Huh? Where is where are they doing the wedding? Don't be afraid. Come. Okay. I'm not a prophet of doom. There's no room. This is this is the word. There is only light. You understand? Hold my hands. Lord, in Jesus' name. Let there be perfection right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my dear. You are what? Abigail. Abigail. Where's your mother, my dear? She's at home. She's at home. Yeah. Let's pray for her. The Lord wants to bring miracles for her. There's someone with. You came with a picture of someone. Is it that he's abroad or abroad? He's abroad. Because this is what I'm seeing. Hold on now. This is a picture abroad. Eh? She do travel there, but now she's in Abuja. She travels abroad. Who is yes, she? Yes, my auntie. Fruit of the womb. She got married. Hold on now. <laughs> Let me talk to you. I'm seeing four lines on this picture. How many years has she been married? Since 2006. I'm seeing four lines. She's had at least, has she had miscarriages? Yes, but I don't know how many times. This is four. I'm seeing one, two, three, four. Four different miscarriages. They even wanted to try. Um, anyway, that's not the issue. You believe Jesus Christ will have you. Lord Jesus Christ, you are mighty in our midst. Glorify your son. Right now, let the power of God touch her. Let it touch you through her. In the name of Jesus, you return with your miracle. My dear, let me pray for your mother. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be healing for her mother. And let there be healing for you in Jesus' name. Your sister, what's wrong with her? She got married since 2003. I still up to now. She no been. fruit of the womb. Where are you from? I'm from Gardner State. I won't say it here, but you see, let me speak a parable. When Jesus comes into your life, when you need the help of God, you can't mix salt water and clean water. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Huh? You can't come and mix salt water and then you want Jesus Christ to add fresh water on top. If you are for God, you must seek him completely. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about them. You see, when we become desperate for a change, we are humans. And I know that a lot of people will start suggesting a lot of things. Jose, he says, it's not like he's a herbalist. He used to just see. Look, let me tell you. We've shared this. You can get my teaching on the mysteries of the kingdom. Herbalists and demonic people, they work with. They manipulate spiritual laws, correct spiritual laws. But it is not a spiritual law that makes you a Christian. It is that it must be initiated and sustained by only the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Ken, God is visiting your family. God is visiting your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Ella, the Lord is visiting your family. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord and I'm seeing them going to Kano in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is visiting your family and even you is visiting you. What is happening to you is restoration. Restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is bringing restoration. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for sick people now. So if you came with um, your sick, immediately I pray for this lady. Now is the time so that we can minister to the sick. It's amazing that this is a vigil and it's already morning. Praise God. Um, sweetheart, look at me. What's her name? Ladi. 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 In the name of Jesus, Ladi, we bring you the power of the kingdom. By the mercy of God, we command be made whole right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, return with your child. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if you came here specifically for healing, any part of this country or this city, please come out right now. It's time for you to be healed. 
time for you to be healed. Come and stand. Please, ushers, just line them up. God is already touching people. Look how many people came specifically to be healed. Hallelujah. Steve, can you come and just lead us in worship while we do that? Please don't remain. Don't worry, we are patient. This is a miracle service. We are not here to waste your time. Please be patient. No fighting, no nothing. Jesus Christ is going to step in. No matter what the situation is. Listen to me. No matter what the situation is, I'd like you to believe in Jesus. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing. Jesus. Jesus, there is healing in your name. Now, some of you stood here for healing, but the Lord is going to be touching other areas of your life. But please, we are ministering specifically to sick people. We have very few minutes and we have to do a lot of things. Please make sure that you connect while you're seated. Don't be distracted. Hallelujah. As Steve leads us in worship, I'd like us to connect to what God is doing because there are still at least two or three things that we have to do. Praise God. And in case you've not written your prayer request, God answers prayers in this place. Those of you crying, stop crying. Stop crying. I'm seeing a lot of people crying and it's touching me. My dear, please stop crying. Jesus will visit you. Listen, never criticize the healing ministry. You don't know the pain people are going through. No, there are families here. There are people just standing here. But I tell you the truth. They are dying. There are families that are dying. Look how many people. They all sang praise and worship. Pastor. Truly, truly, the reality of God's power must. While we try to teach them to live in that reality of divine health, God is still merciful enough to help them. We cannot. Are you getting my point? Lord Jesus, we thank you for the ability to heal the sick. We truly give you the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your healing power be strong. Let every infirmity in this place bow to the Lordship of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let every infirmity bow. As I lay my hands upon you, the Lord sets you free. Sister, look at me. Heal! Now, your stomach, the Lord is setting you free. So please, let's be organized while they lead worship. Those of us seated, please be praying in tongues and connecting. There are so many things we are going to do. Thank you, Jesus. Let the name of the Lord be exalted in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Oh, Jesus, we believe. What is wrong? This is stroke. Complete stroke. You are unable to move. Oh, the devil is wicked. What is this? Father, would you do a miracle in our daddy's body right now? I curse the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Let life come to your limbs in the name of Jesus Christ. Let life come to your limbs. You are going to walk right now in Jesus name
you believe that look at me sir in the name of jesus walk come 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 are you feeling strength come walk don't be afraid you will not fall in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus for what you are doing i give you all the praise I give you all the place. I, I loosen all of the nerves in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. Please exercise yourself around. You can turn back. Exercise yourself. Give Jesus praise. Careful. Careful for him. This is completely paralyzed of stroke. The devil is so wicked. So wicked. Thank you Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead Steve. Let's save time. Thank you Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's okay. Stop crying. Why are you crying? You are what? Spirit Spirit husband. The Bible says male and female, not female and spirit. Male and female. Look at me. Weep not. When Jesus steps in, there is hope. Oh, I love Jesus. Look at me. You believe Jesus will set you free? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Ready? Go ahead. Jesus! 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 Out! Out of her now. Out! I challenge you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That wicked spirit. Out! 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 This lady has been going to church every Sunday. Yet this spirit has been comfortably sitting down. Her academic zero. Everything zero. You leave now never to return. Now! Never to return. For the blood speaks. I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. For you are glorious. Sleep. And worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. And I'm done. Out. Out. Mama be healed. I rebuke the spirit. The blood of the angel. You are the For you glory. For you are the Lord. come not just to you but to your entire family this morning Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ where are you please let's save time please let's save time time is not on our side come 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 there is nothing working what is Anambra that's Anambra Street. Anambra, I know, I know. What is Anambra? What do you have to do with Anambra? No, I have nothing to do with Anambra. Because I'm seeing Anambra. Who is, who is there? Is there anyone from there? No, 
I'm seeing a lady. Oh, this is a lady. And I'm seeing an Ambra. Huh? I think so. maybe you are from the state or something like that. Who? Um, no, no, let me just. I know there are many people just follow. Come. Please let's save time. There is so much to do. Jesus, let this idol that I see, I'm looking at this lady and I'm not seeing her face. I'm seeing the face of something that is as old as 127 years old. It's something that they worship in an Ambra state. This is what the Lord is showing me. And it has tied down her life. Because I'm seeing chains, but the chains are made up of snakes in the name that is above all names. Be set free now. I lay my hands upon you as an envoy of God's presence. Be free. Be free now. Let our family go. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Daddy, where are the children? to pray for you sir things will turn around in your life I want to assure you all the way from where sir from Kaduna you came from Kaduna Jesus well, don't worry you understand I know what is wrong with you this is not a word of knowledge I'm aware but I want you to know that Jesus is Lord no matter how impossible it is with men it must go you are not alone. There are many people with this same thing in this place. In the Lord Jesus is there. Hold my hands. You are risen from the dead. You are Lord. Light is shining in the darkness. Jesus. this devil right now let her go out in the name of Jesus Christ lay your hands on your stomach my dear I release the power of God I set you free now in the name of Jesus Christ daddy I'm seeing both of your hands tied down and the Lord is telling me to release you financially things are buried down is that true I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. Financially very down. And I've been battling with diabetes and hiccup. Hiccups. Hiccup. When it started, it seemed like it was trying to block my chest. How long has this been, sir? It started February this year. Yes. You came and here. I had been hospitalized for two times on that. On this. Yes. Jesus is going to heal you right now. Me. Oh Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I don't know what would have done for people except for the power of the Holy Spirit. Daddy, be healed right now. Please hold my hands. May you begin to prosper by the Spirit of God. I release you and your family members. Be healed. Diabetes, be healed. I rebuke that devil of infirmity in the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you. All right, Steve, please lead us in worship. Let's hurry up. There are so many people. Please don't worry. I mustn't listen. Let me tell you something. I think I need to explain something. I don't have to prophesy, like mention your case. Are you getting my point? For you to know that okay, the Lord is going to touch you. Not at all. So you don't have to push people. Everyone who are going to minister to you. Why are you crying? Come. 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 What's the problem, my dear? What's the problem? Oh. What? Kidney infection and HIV. You know that physically speaking, this is a death sentence. Kidney plus HIV. But not when Jesus, not when he steps in. Sweetheart, with men, it is impossible. But the Lord will give you brand new kidneys right now. 
and that devil of HIV must pack his load and live your life. See, you know, the reason why many of us never have the anointing is because we don't have the patience to help people. We just want to shine. If you truly care about people, compassion is what moves the release of the anointing. When I see people cry, it affects me. I remember the things that I saw in the spirit. My dear, there is a way. And Jesus is that way. Are you listening to me? I make boast to tell you that you will be healed. Absolutely. It's not trial and error. Look at look at how, how many people are crying. You just see people standing. But some people have already, it's like they've signed their death warrant. I speak to every hopeless situation in this place. In the name of Jesus, like the dry bones in Ezekiel's valley, there is hope for you tonight. In the name of Jesus, bless you, Steve. Jesus is the way. Thank you, Jesus. Heal now. Brand new kidneys. HIV never return. I cause that virus. It leaves your body right now. You will check and there will be no trace, no single trace. And I command those dead kidneys, let brand new kidneys come from heaven. already eating her legs. They're now tiny. Hold my hands. I cast that spirit right now. Be gone. Mommy, please don't cry. This is an elderly woman. Help her with it. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. I cast that devil. That pain. That abdominal pain. It leaves now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it leaves now. 
She's a worker in this house. And in the name of Jesus Christ, she's entitled to the blessings that follow kingdom service. Therefore, I set you free. And the Lord set your family free in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, please, don't cry. This will dry up. In Jesus' name, God bless you. If they pray for you, you can go. We don't have time to take testimonies. It's already morning. Hallelujah. We'll take any testimonies next week. Thank you, Jesus. Mommy, be healed in Jesus' name. Out! I am serving. I am serving. He's a living God. Spirits, they disturb him. Eh? Eh? What's he saying? I mean, my son, let's see the person. Eh? Speechless, man. It's okay, daddy, don't worry. Ooh. Jesus will solve it in Jesus' name. Whatever it is, Jesus is about to touch the whole family. My brother, what's the issue? I have spiritual, spiritual things. Stop spiritual things. Yeah, but a spiritual thing is it's not like you are, you see, please, let me explain something. Jesus is not a magician. You have to press into God. No matter how much I pray for you now, you see, this spirit will live, but ultimately your passion and your desire for spiritual things. Are you following me now? You must be ready to truly commit your all and walk with Jesus. This is the ultimate remedy. Because you are a great man. Let me pray for you. Please, when I make the altar call, please don't hesitate to come out. Lord Jesus, I cast that spirit right now. He will be healed right now. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. That in the name of Jesus, the Lord touches you. Cast that spirit out! She will not die. Out! That devil of stroke. Out! Are you seeing? Hold on, please. You see? Hold on. Are you, are you seeing paralysis? You see that this lady is already paralyzing from her face down because it's the devil of darkness. Let her go now. I curse you by the name of the God of heaven. You must let her go. Bless you, Steve. Sorry I keep interrupting. I just want to use this and explain certain things. My dear, this old twisting of your face will go down. This is a lovely lady. Praise God.
let her go. I have victory. 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 to walk around and correct the prayer request please please this is a time to pass your prayer requests and for those online media people let's have it so that we can as soon as we're done we can pray on it hallelujah praise the lord Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. 
Let's all rise on our feet. This is the last session. I love this part because this is where we get to invoke the presence of God. There is no matter how many things we see, no matter how many people we minister to, this is a representation of the hunger and the desperation of almost everyone here. The Bible says, unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come hallelujah i want you to know that the lord god of heaven answers prayers in this place this is not just some religious activity hallelujah praise the lord pastor ike let me invite you to join me as we pray over this request now i want you to stretch your hands those outside stretch your hands towards the projector and let's just pray in tongues for two to five minutes as we speak over this request. This represents the desire of God's people. Steve, you can join me too. Go ahead, stretch your hands as we pray. Go ahead, pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Rambo Kosuto Protoko Dobo Shubalada. seconds 60 more seconds to begin to declare war in the spirit lift up your voice and begin to declare 60 more seconds ratu go bamba li kabro do shande gele bala de gele bando lo ka rikati se gele bro do ka bamba li gele bo kolo bra na gala ban ya tele bolo sana bala ban de gele bro ka bali gala ban ma po tele ban na gala ban de gele bo shande gala ban de 
satele bokamba na galabra de gede bosa naga gitala bro go lo bosite le galaba you have 15 more seconds lift up your voice and declare right now basso pamala bo pamali gede de tana de galaba ma bro ko pande le gede bolo sande gede ya ba rapete gele bo pande gele be gele 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 bo sande gele ba usi ana na bo lo bo timbale gele ya naga ba o ti ana mana gele mana na galo chete gele ba Batolo bo kite bala negere bo Batso pike brande kande Lingro dingling dinga tanglo tante manal Ipo sande kelebe Tu taya taya po sanabaya ba Ipo lo sanabala ba I want you to declare a thunderous amen In Jesus mighty name Only those are the overflow. I need to hear your voice in Jesus mighty name. Let all the people in the room lift up your voice and shout in Jesus mighty name. Let every nation, every tribe, every tongue give a thunderous amen in Jesus name. Wherever you are, make sure your two hands is connected to somebody. The Bible declares, Behold, how beautiful, how pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. The Bible declares, For there God commands his blessing when there is unity in the house. I need you to just squeeze our hands, hold the hand by you. In that name that is above every other name, the name that makes demons tremble, the name that makes barren womb open. The name that makes blind eyes open. The name that makes the sick to be healed. In that name that guarantees an answer. We call on that name as a family. We call on that name as a body. We call on that name united this morning. We decree and declare every secret petition. We decree and declare every prayer request. We decree and declare every heart desire. We decree and declare by the unction and the authority vested on me by the man of God of this house. I decree and declare answers Answers, answers, answers right now in Jesus' name. Oh my God, you are not saying amen. You are not echoing amen. Let the living shout amen. And so Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. We exalt your name. We lift you far above all else. For there is absolutely no God like you. We ask, oh God, that one more time, prove yourself. The God of the Apostle Selma. The God of Isaac. The God of Jacob. And their father Abraham. We decree and declare every secret petition is answered it's answered in Jesus mighty name and finally let every living soul shout the name of Jesus seven times to seal this great miracle can we go right now one, two shout Somebody shout! Somebody!
Somebody shout! Somebody shout! Somebody shout! Somebody shout! When you want to shout the seventh time, I need you to jump on your feet and shout the name that's above all the names. Everybody shout! Jesus! 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 Hallelujah! 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 This is the best part of the meeting for me right now. What is about to happen? Because this is where many of you will see the creative power of prophecy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. Please, I'd like you to be sensitive. It's already 5.30. Can you imagine? Soon we'll be out of this place. But I'd like you to know that something is about to change in your life. Truly, truly, I believe that this is the greatest part of this meeting. Because when the word of God comes your way, it does something remarkable. Hallelujah. There's someone, you have, we don't have time, you don't have to come out now. There's someone you've been trusting the Lord. And um, in fact, I'm seeing is a lady. And you're insisting that you must marry by December. And this is a very serious thing. You've, you've implicated yourself. You've said December. But the Lord is showing me April 2015. You are one of them. My dear, you. I'm seeing a lady. God is giving you a word. So don't kill yourself for nothing and say, I must marry. If you want to marry tomorrow, the devil will bring somebody for you. But you see, you have to be careful. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound. And bones began to be joined to bones. When Jesus appeared to me, one of the things that he did to me was to allow the light of his glory and his presence to enter into my being. And so every time I open my mouth to prophesy, that's all I see, that light. It's like a drug. It steps into your destiny and creates the Garden of Eden. Whatever it is, please, I'd like you to believe. Please. People have changed. The power of God is already moving. Help them, please. I know that we have abused prophecy. And in the country around, many people make so much boast about understanding the prophetic. But in reality, you see, um, the creative dimension of God's word is the strongest level of the operation of the word. The ability to make something out of nothing. Many of us just know the revelatory dimension. But if anything will ever happen in your life, it will take the power, the creative power. Hallelujah. So as I pray in these few minutes, I'd like you to shout Amen from the depths of your heart and I want you to receive you can choose to argue it and go back the same especially for those of us who um, came from far and near people traveled all the way some have been here all through the week please because you must return with a testimony Savior he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say. He is mighty to say. Forever, author of salvation. He will conquer the grave. He Let's sing one more time. Savior. He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to stay. He is mighty to save. Forever. Author of salvation. He rolls and conquers the grave. Jesus conquers the grave. 
in the name that is above all names i prophesy to everyone who is trusting god for direction for the next level of his life be it marriage be it whatever you are at a crossroad and you need the voice of god may you hear the voice of the lord in the name of jesus i prophesy clarity in the name of jesus you don't have to bring them out just just leave them you don't have to bring them out again we're out of time i prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of jesus may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures the bible says there is a way that seemed right you must be at the geography of your grace to drive and isaac sowed not everywhere in that land in the name that is above all names may you hear the voice of his majesty as you sleep tonight may you hear the voice of his majesty I pray for everybody here who is experiencing stagnation you are marking time and instead of you to make progress you are not moving by extension to every family in the name that is above all names the Lord told Moses why are you crying to me tell the people to move forward I prophesy over your destiny move forward now Move forward now. Move forward now. Make progress now. Make progress now. I prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Man Every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny in the name of jesus that embargo is lifted now by the blood of jesus that embargo is lifted now sisters i open your marital doors now in the name of jesus no more shall this proverb be used in your life May the Lord change your story. Hallelujah. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of Jesus. The anointing that distinguishes you from today everywhere you go be distinguished now help them please so that they don't preach. be distinguished now be distinguished now no more will you be common no more will you be like the rest the hand of god is upon you no more will you be common i prophesy from the depths of my heart let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now all those trusting god for jobs let me, there's nothing as joblessness the Bible says he saw them idle and he said why standest ye idle and they say no man employ us he told them go to the vine 
when God speaks, there must be job. In the name of the Lord Jesus, wherever your job is, I don't care what the limiting factors are, there is a superior advantage because you are in Christ. Therefore, I invoke man tato sotobala by the ministry of destiny help us. Wherever you need to be called, wherever your CV is, I provoke a miracle job now. 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 Hallelujah. I pray for everyone called barren in this place. Anyone called barren in this place. I declare to you according to the word of the Lord. That according to the time of life. May you return with your miracle child. May you return with your miracle child. I speak it. I establish it in the spirit. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. It says, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel, against Jerusalem, and against Judah. So that no man will lift up his head. He said, But I have sent carpenters in the name that is above all names the lord told me he will bring breakthrough i want to prophesy it now, now whatever has limited you whatever has limited your family right now in the name that is above all names i come with the rod of a higher priesthood and i command every limitation be broken now limitations be broken now Limitations call pototota. Ay, 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 ay. I sense the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Limitations be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Let the power of God break every limitation now. Hallelujah. He told Saul, he said, as you return, you will see three men holding bread, but two of them will give it to you. Does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves? In the name that is above all names. The favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. Please believe it. It's not by power. There is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of God. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, I prophesy, receive favor. Favor. Let the Esther anointing come upon you now. Favor with men. Favor with God. Favor with kings. Favor with destiny help us. In the name of Jesus. Every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names, we provoke their ministry now. We provoke their ministry now. We provoke their ministry now. hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around circles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed i provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again 
he said master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah i pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage every family represented here he said as for me and my house not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of jesus may the fire of god may the fire of the holy ghost bring advancement in every family represented here i command every family make progress move forward make progress move forward move forward hallelujah i speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death oh earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and for many who are students here mando in the name of jesus every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names i command be free from it now 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 therefore i release upon you the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence on common speed academic exploits in the name of jesus hallelujah for every ministry every business everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of ezekiel i command life to it now i command life now i command life now in the name of the lord jesus christ i command life now hallelujah everyone in ministry in this place i pray for you let the doors of opportunity be open up to you you were not designed to market yourself the bible said let her walk speak for her at the gates i command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of jesus christ every struggle in any area of ministry we call it to end now in the name of jesus and anyone who is in ministry and you are confused you really don't know where you stand you don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing in the name that is above all names let there be clarity absolute clarity in the name of jesus now lift up your hands i want to pray for your finances in the name that is above all names first and foremost i cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance i command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of jesus i cause the spirit of greed 
let it be far from your life in the name of Jesus grace for you to be a faithful tither grace for you to be a faithful giver grace for you to be a kingdom investor may God give you wisdom may God give you favor may God bless the works of your hands therefore I release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus God gives you wisdom God gives you ideas in the name of Jesus hallelujah everyone here who is trusting God and is saying Lord restore everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying Lord if there was a way I can turn the hands of time I prophesy to you there is a God that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration therefore in the name that is above all names we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost in the name of Jesus opportunity for favor receive it opportunity for healthy connections every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of God we call back that opportunity to return in the name of Jesus Christ we call it to return in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah I pray finally whatever has made you cry in the name that is above all names whatever has brought tears out of your eyes because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you in the name that is above all names may my God arise for you and that everyone who has laughed at you and said where is their God in the name that is above all names that God will arise for you my God will arise for you my God will arise for you now hold on before we round up we're finishing by six six on the dot I'll take five minutes and do something fast and we're going to have hot praise for five minutes we can't go without praise you seal these things that God is doing with praise hallelujah now keep standing everybody I want to make an altar call right now please hallelujah there are many people here inside and outside you've heard the word of the Lord you've experienced the power of God the touch of God the ministry of God's servants and God's vessels but you have not made a decision for Jesus Christ you may be a Christian but you've not truly made a genuine decision for Jesus Christ and then there are others you once made a decision for Jesus Christ truly but you found yourself derailing right now in the name of Jesus I want to give you an opportunity the Lord is asking you to return home this is one of the greatest miracles I know that there are many of us outside forget about your friends and whoever you came with you're saying Lord I'm coming to commit myself genuinely I'm inviting you right now as I count five one God bless you God bless you appreciate them two I know they are coming God bless you please hurry up and come it's a great thing it's a great thing three appreciate them I believe there are so many other people that the Lord is speaking to don't be afraid this is a family don't be ashamed it's time to come to Jesus genuinely genuine repentance not emotional hype to make a decision that determines the next course of your life four God bless them you are still coming I believe that the Holy Ghost is still speaking to some other people don't remain there five I'll begin to pray now but you can still come and join us God bless you the devil is a liar no power will stop you in case the Lord is still speaking to you please find your way run to Jesus it's the greatest decision you will ever make in your life hallelujah those of us here thank you so much for coming we salute your courage I want to lead you to make the greatest prayer and decision in your life 
after all is said and done in this life, this is all that will matter. The quality of the decision you have made today will determine your eternal destiny. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand and say after me, Lord Jesus. Please mean it from the depth of your heart. Don't recite it like a poem. Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe you died for me. You shed your blood for me. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare today that I'm saved. I'm a child of God. My name is in the Lamb's book of life. I denounce sin and Satan. The power of sin is broken over my life. From today, I arise a champion. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. Make me an ambassador for the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for these ones. They have come before you. Spirit of the living God, I pray that you preserve them. Let their decisions be genuine. Grace for them to stand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please arise. God bless you. Thank you for this great decision. I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. Just follow the gentleman waving his hands. Appreciate them, Koinonia. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Now, let me just perform two quick functions. Pastor Ike came with his CDs. How many of you were blessed by the ministry of Pastor Ike? Come on, celebrate grace. Koinonia, you know better than this. Celebrate grace. Hallelujah. He's here with his CDs. He brought as much as one, two, three, four, five, five complimentary copies for me. Please help me tell him thank you. Hallelujah. They are available. I believe that um, there are some with Jordan Bookstore. And I believe that it's possible to get probably a few limited copies. Very powerful. Really very powerful. And um, let me use the opportunity to just introduce to us one more time. Aaron Dandodo and Susan Legbo, where are you? They're getting married on the 18th. Aaron, quickly. Susan. Let this be the way they clap for you during your wedding. <laughs> You will reap what you sow. Where is she? You are not doing again. Hallelujah. There are wonderful, faithful people in this house. Aaron has been with us for years. And Susan is a member of the prayer band. Praise the Lord. And um, we thank God for what God is doing. Stretch your hands pray for them. Their wedding is on the 18th. They'll be tying the knot in Mina. Pray for them. Say, Lord, every resource required is provided. And many of you, God may lead you to sow seeds into their lives. Go ahead. Go ahead. So connect with what God is doing. Connect with what God is doing. Lord, we ask that you bless them. Bless Aaron. Bless Susan. We bless your wedding. Most importantly, we bless your marriage. May you experience the hand of God in your home in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Please celebrate them one more time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning, Pastor Yinka will be um, will be called a husband proper. <laughs> Hallelujah. We give God all the praise. A few people left the day before yesterday to grace the wedding. Um, the wedding of Aaron and Susan will be at UMCA Church behind Mr. Biggs Tonga at Mina State. Reception is at Honorable Justice Idris Legbo Hall near the government house at Mina Niger State. As many of us, Aaron has been a blessing to the body of Christ. Please let's invest our resources, and then our presence. Um, this is from the prayer department. There will be massive Holy Ghost baptism on Tuesday. For those of us who have been trusting God, please, if you are here, for adventure, you are new, and you've not been filled with the Holy Ghost with evidence of praying in fluent tongues, fluent tongues, not just talking anyhow. You need to receive a real baptism, genuinely. Join the prayer band Tuesday, the 30th, of September, 
at Rema Chapel. Time is 4 p.m. Please invite your friends and loved ones. Project 10,000 is still on. Please be part of it. And the Lord will help you. Praise the Lord. You can book for counseling immediately after the service. Uh, the protocol department will be waiting here. Please, if you are coming for counseling from another state, would advise that you come at least on Sunday. Praise God. Or at least Monday, leave early in the morning so that um, you can come and be settled. Praise the Lord. The booking ends tomorrow by 6 p.m. This free bus transport is limited immediately after the service. For those going to Shikan Congo, please wait at the projector stand outside. Take note of our official lines, both um, um, the protocol and the media lines. Please take advantage of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I also want to announce that the general workers retreat has been shifted. Please, all workers, because of the um, nature of the weekend, please and please, we have decided to shift it so that everyone can rest. Hallelujah. The various heads of department will communicate this accordingly. Okay. The audition for the worship team will be on the 1st of October. Hallelujah. So all applicants, please make sure you mark that date and prepare. You can meet your head of department immediately after the service for more information. Hallelujah. School of Ministry students, we are not having lectures today again. Please, our lectures will be tomorrow since there's no retreat again. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. prompt. 2 p.m. prompt. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please announce it to those who are coming in from Kaduna if they are not around so that they don't bother taking um, the pain to come and then not. We just want everybody to rest. So everyone you can use today and rest. There are other meetings. CGC is having its uh, convention. And then there is a program that is happening in, I think, God Life today. Um, Aaron and... Um, one of the business experts they are putting on a program. So there are many things happening at the same time. It's quite a busy weekend. And for many of us who have been preparing for this meeting. So please afterwards take out time and rest. Those who have been fasting it's time to eat. Praise the Lord. So that you don't die in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me take this time to appreciate the Orions. Please I'd like you to celebrate them. Please, Koinonia, celebrate them. It's an investment of honor. Hallelujah. I want us to celebrate the redeemed dancers. Wonderful. It was so, so lovely. Hallelujah. I'd like us to celebrate the man of God, Steve Strings. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. We love you. Love you. We truly honor you. I'd like us to celebrate the dear woman of God. Goodness, I was blown away. Please. Rosemary, please celebrate her. Thank you. Thank you so much. May the Lord honor you. Thank you for coming all the way. And I'd like us to celebrate Pastor Ike and his wonderful wife. I think she should stand here and let's see her. Pastor, you spoke so much about her. Please, ma. You know she's not. Come on now. Pastor, do it for us. Those of you who plan to be bad husbands, that's going to be the last prophecy before we leave. May God change your mindset in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Please celebrate them. May your home be like this. Every Tom and Jerry marriage, I curse it in Jesus' name. Bless you, man. Thank you so much for coming. Hallelujah. And then I'd like us to celebrate every department in this house. Wonderful people. Wonderful people. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate our online community. There are more people following online than you can imagine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. All those worshiping with us for the first time, as we round up, please, I'd like you to come out. We have a prayer and a blessing for you. Make your way to the front, inside and outside. Make your way to the front right now. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Please come, those who are worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time here, aside from our invited guests. You're welcome. Don't let anyone sit down around you who is coming here for the first time. We have a prayer 
and a blessing for you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Pastor. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. Hallelujah. A meeting put together by Eternity Network International. Your life will never be the same. Thank you for the investment of your time. This is our vigil and we bless God for your presence. I guarantee you that you will return with such a hunger for spiritual things. May the Lord honor you in Jesus' name. Father, we bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will meet your expectations beyond your imagination. You are blessed. As you return, you return with the presence of God. You return with the anointing of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, I'd like you to just follow the gentleman waving his hands. He will have your information and he will welcome you more warmly on our behalf in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's share the grace. After that, we're going to have five minutes of hot praise. Hallelujah. Pastor Ike will round up this meeting with hot praise. Hallelujah. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I'll be here very briefly to say hi to as many people. God bless you. Pastor Sir. Hey, 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 my God is good, yo. My God is good, yo. Come on, come on, come on, come on. My God is good, yo. Somebody worship, somebody pray. 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 To say, yeah, I will lift him higher. Yeah, I will lift him higher. 